Dum dum dum. Dum 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 dum. dum. No, I know, I didn't see you there. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I need to clean my fucking glasses. Oh, shit. Good enough. Oh, hello. I had to sing over here. I might lower the music, honestly. Oh, dearie, dearie me. So. So, 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 today, what are we doing? Well, probably two things at least. Um, first off, we want to work a little bit more on our wheel, ah, uh, 
the starting soon thing. I want to work a bit more on that. And then, and then, I do want to work after a little bit more of that. Play some games. Some people around, and we're good with that. If there aren't, there aren't. And we'll do some more art or something. Just want to make sure I don't burn myself out. Depends on who's around today, really. Um, but yesterday was all right. It was pretty good. Uh, it was a good time. Now, give me two seconds to make sure if everything's all fine. Nothing's intentionally updating and being a absolute tit wibbler. Because there's nothing worse than fucking this shit. Yeah, there's nothing worse than just turning around and being like, Mmm, yes, yes, yes. I'm not being ready. Oh. Yeah, no. Sorry, I was a bit late. I'm like, yes, I'll get here on time. And then I realized I'd woken up and I'd started things earlier. But I had, I was not ready. <laughs> uh, that is how it do be sometimes, I think. But that's okay. Uh, and I think that's just how it's going to be and that's what we're going to do. Now, what I'm thinking is we get into it, we just vibe for a bit, and see what happens, honestly. If I find me else a little wonkle, then it will stop. Big, oh, ooh. <laughs> surprise. Boom, 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 boom. Sorry, I'm bumping to the song. Yes, and if you're ever curious what the songs are outside the intro, they well, even the intro, it is in the credits of my about page thing in my bubble. So just vibe. And vibe. Because that's how it'll be. Alright, we can switch, let's just switch over to fucking the thing here. And let's get some more, get some fun old work done, I think. Technically, it would have been smarter if I started working on my art overlay first. But I kind of, I'm kind of enjoying getting this thing set up. Starting soon screen, I just, I don't know, I vibe with the looks, uh, I vibe with the concept. The art one, I like it being a scribbly mess. Uh, so I've sort of just been happily leaving it, I think. Whew, where the fuck is it? Hold on. Now, the reason it can take a hot second is the canvas always likes forgetting which one it is whenever I go to do it. Oh, yes, it looks like that's working. I know we need that camera. Ah. Ah. Boom, 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 boom. No, I am in the collab room, <laughs> so any of my friends could randomly join at any point. Which makes it fun. Makes it fun. And yes, I will keep it as just chatting, mainly because I'm going to be rambling a bit, because a lot of it is going to be just theorizing ideas and designs and stuff. Um, one, prevents me from burning myself out. And two, I enjoy it. So, fucking, why not? But I do hope everyone's well. Has had a good morning. I for sure have so far. Oh, I'm slowly, hopefully, getting over the COVID. Though it's been like a month, but who knows? Everyone takes a little bit. Everyone takes their own amount of time to get over health stuff. Let me just dust down 
my shitty tablet. Now, briefly, I might do, 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 do. I'm just trying to think, what are the plans? We've got a few people that have now been like added to the definites list. So I think let's, hey, yeah, that for a second. And just go grab our list. List time. Meow, 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 meow. Now the list uh, can go here. Bonjour list. Le bon behavior list. Bo, 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 bo. Mr. List. Yay. There we go. There we go. So. I'm just going to chuck that there. Chuck that there. Good. Now, in our little listing, -er, we do have one, two, three, four, five people confirmed. No, we have six people, I think, confirmed now. Because uh, if I remember correctly, Tora is also was really happy at the idea. So we can do that. They don't mind, so I'll just do the IDM. 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 So two people have actually confirmed where they want to be. Uh, if we went back to the text, like here. Uh, I do want to grab... What color is the text? There we go. I do want to go back and make sure that when we're here... Where the fuck is the text? There it is. Good. Same layer. Uh, I want this to be... That one's googly. So no googly is going to be here. And you know code is going to be here. It makes it easier. So I guess, let's have a think of where we want, might want the others. Um, I'm pretty sure Hansa was happy with the idea too. I'm trying to think, trying to think. Because if that's the case, I'm pretty sure she was. Uh, yes, Hansa said uh, yes as well. So it only makes sense that we... Let's go back here for a second. Not doing any more of that there, text. And I don't care about binary, I want my remade shit. Let me go pen. Oh, I switched the car accidentally. Ah, who cares? Whatever. We get the idea. No, I care. <laughs> do -do -do -do. Now, from memory, Hans is also an IDM. Because they don't mind. It's just like a, a lot of people are like, yeah, cool, it's a cool idea. They don't mind. That's right. Then I'm going to put likely... Um, I've said Googly's on two, but technically Googly's on one. I just, I'm shit at drawing ones. Uh, Hansa, I think I'll put on three. Um, I think I'll put on three because she could be like teaching someone there's, because maybe a chessboard there. Now, maybe, because mm, I'm trying to see, based on who's here, we'll sort of determine where people go. Obviously, code is easy. There's a cover box. Uh, Kiwi will likely just be vibing, because I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking... Oh, Kiwi knows Hansa. 
So that could be a good, connect, good connection. Or I could put Kiwi and NZ there, because I think NZ will probably say yes. and just hasn't responded. I'm pretty sure uh, Tale said yes as well. Uh, so say if we said... Um, Kiwi and NZ. 10 and... 11. And we can switch out who one of them, uh, one of them are if NZ decides to say no. If I remember correctly... Uh, yeah, yeah, because Tale is happy. Uh, Tale... I'm thinking... Could be chilling with like a little duck or something there. That's a bit of a nice little reference. So say Tale is seven. So Tale, that's that done. We could put Zambi um, at 13. Just having a nap on the bean bag. Uh, maybe could put Tara at 12. You know, it's very excited, happy, sort of just looking over it. Uh, stuff there. Could always just be, could also be drawing while doing something there. It's an in interesting idea. Um, so that's one, two, probably two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine so far. We've got that there. Instead of a, like the pool's a good idea, but it's like who would even want to be in the pool? Um, Benzu's around. Instead of a pool, it could just be, you know, those couches that sort of go down. Either way, I think it could be like something here, even if it's just like a bunch of other chairs or something. Or could even just be like a pool table. Or even a kitchen, maybe. Pool table or a kitchen. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just trying to think where we might want people. And Coda, how are you going? How are you? Oh, you're well, hope you're well. Feel free to pop by if you're vibing to chat. I'm just contemplating and vibing. Got a few more people on the on the old ticked bus, I guess. I should probably switch back here to confirm things. Um, so yeah, you cannot play spooky stuff at all. It's good to know what you can and can't do. I respect that. Uh... <laughs> Drains you mentally? Yeah, it's not worth doing it if it drains you, man. Alright, look after yourself. Uh, but it's good that you've come to that realisation, and hopefully you're feeling better soon, and it hasn't... Yeah, depression hit hard. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, really hope it sort of gets better soon, and... Yeah. But Zam, I can help, let me know. Um, but yeah, nah, spooky stuff can... Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's not worth it if it's going to cause any hassle for anyone involved. Um, so yeah, no, it, it, that's a good call then. Fazno is pretty okay, though. <laughs> yeah, but 
Yeah. Also, never feel bad about having to stop something just because you need to. Like, it is how it is. Um, and no one should be upset at that. So, yeah, and um, hope things are a bit better for you today, though. Hopefully. <laughs> um, let me just oop and boop. Now, wait, F. Hell yeah, that's got some good shit. Yes. Fuck yeah, that's good, that's good. That's what you want. Um, yeah, so at the moment, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to think of where people might want to go based off who's replied. Uh, got some good progress on your Discord. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I need to look into mine. I just, <laughs> mine is just at the moment, delete a few channels, delete a few channels, delete a few channels, <laughs> until I find, okay, I want to find the bare minimum. Uh, I want to get to a point where someone's requesting for me to add stuff. Because I, I think I just, I overloaded people too much. If I had a bigger community, I think it would have made sense, but I overloaded people too much compared to the size of the community. Uh, especially when I don't have mods. Like, official mods. Like, thankfully, NZ and Googly are mods there because I trust them, but it's 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 more out of they're just offering to help if they, if they ne if it's needed rather than an actual sort of, here's a mod. Um, I don't know. If you want to do something, I'm vibing. But, uh, at the moment, yeah, that's why I'm in the club chat. Always feel free to pop by. You're, you're a good one. Um, but, oh, wait, wait. So I was thinking maybe... It's probably a door here. I'm thinking you're here in a in the cardboard box, probably, or doing something else. I don't mind because that's why I asked also what people want to do because I can move it and adjust it based off that. But I'm thinking, um, if it was to be back here, uh, I was thinking putting NZ and Kiwi together because they're around each other a lot, just sort of at this combined thing. NZ and Kiwi. Um, that would make sense. There's that. Um, I don't know what, like, who will go there. If it will even have, like, a chair. It could just be a static place. Because I'm trying to decide, do I have it, like, a seat and someone's there at the front? Or do I have it just as an open window... And someone's just like, whoa, cool. Um, I haven't decided that yet. But that's what I'm liking. I'm liking the... The conceptualization. Boom, 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 boom. Um, but... <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know... Uh, Hansa said yes, so what we can do... Is we can put Hansa here. Because we know for a fact that uh, we were putting a game here. And the fact that Hans is here helps confirm why I even planned to have that there. Because, and yes, I don't care about the layers of all the fucking text. Because they're just there briefly. I probably should care though. So let's move it to the top, I guess. Let's go, hands are there, we know we want Google, the hands is there, googly nz, coda. Um, yeah, so you also confirmed, I'll say, oh yeah, fakers. I'll say confirmed for these two here for now. Hands are confirmed for now. Uh, googly confirmed for now. Tale, I'm still thinking about potentially putting Tale maybe here. Um... Holding a duck or something. Cute little Easter egg. And it's by the tree. Makes sense, I think. I don't know. Oof. Crack my fucking back and call it a sack. Um. Tile. I mean, I could always just put it as actually the tie, but I can't be bothered changing the keyboard right now. Uh, number two, I'm not too sure. Uh, if you want to play some games or something, I'm down. I'm just vibing. 
Um, so we got Tale, presumably. Uh, 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 uh. Tom hasn't responded. That's right. Tom's busy. Uh, Tora said yes. Towa. Uh, and you met Towa from the raid. They are a good egg. Um, good friend. Good friend. Um, they are in the. They don't mind where they are, and so I will randomly put them somewhere category for now. <laughs> so I'm thinking Toa here. Because uh, Toa can either be liking what's being shown or like maybe even drawing something. Hey, Googly, how you going? You having a good day today? You going all right? Hope so, hope so. I haven't really done much yet, Googly. You haven't really missed out on much. I'm just, I, I, t I started and then I just forgot. <laughs> I went to just do some stuff and then I just got caught up in like meds and stuff. And prayers and morning routines and stuff like that. But um, what we got is same as yesterday actually, but I'm always on second child. Woo! Because first one deleted, which you remember. Oh, I remember that. Uh, how are you feeling in comparison with the second trailer? You feeling it's a little bit... You feel like you've learnt some new skills from it, maybe? Because hopefully that's a good takeaway from it, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to find some positive amongst it. I'm not naturally the most positive person, but... Well, I try, but I try to be, so... Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully you found some positives in it. Um... But yes, uh, where do we want... Oh yeah, so Googly's there, figuring the... Uh, no more complaining, more full than the other one. There you go. No, that's awesome. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be dope. Um, I guess while I'm here, in case there's someone here that's lurking that doesn't know. Just, oh, I, I always do that. I always, it's always like at least once I forget, at least once a day, I forget to put the actual thing. Not, no, not Kaj. Fuck my brain and call it sideways dick. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I can't even do a fucking shout out. Um, but yeah, no, nah, there we go. But I hope you are. Also, if either of you want to just chill and chat, that's what, uh, I'm just in. I'm in the disc. Always feel free to pop by and chat. But yeah, so Googly's there. Hans is probably here. NZ and Kiwi probably here. Uh, now I'm thinking. Um, Tale is here. Koda's here. Tolwa's here. I'm trying to think of what I want in here. Originally, I was thinking potentially a pool, but I don't know. Maybe maybe a kitchen. Uh, it's undecided in this little quadrant, I guess. Um, I don't know. But uh, Aria doesn't mind where they are. Now... I suspect R is the sort of person who would just chill and vibe. And so I'm going to put Arya at 8, I think. Uh, because, I don't know, that's just the vibe I get. I think Toa and Arya would get along well. And so they would both be just vibing there. That's just me vibe. Want to speak about your character a bit? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. If you want that off, if you want that muted, feel free. If you don't mind, then also feel free. Now I need to figure out. There's probably there's one more person there, so that leaves number two. Uh, who would be vibing with two? At the very least, we we haven't decided where Zambo would be. I think we guess probably 13 at the sleeping bag. 
because I feel like Toa would be just chilling. Not Toa, uh, Zambi would just be. Good old B would be just chilling here, I suspect. Um, and so I'm going to suspect. I'm going to go B here. I think B would be in the sleeping bag. Maybe with a tablet as well, because B's also a, mainly an art streamer. So I want to make sure I know. Uh, I want to make sure I note down that certain people would be having a tablet. <laughs> if I shrunk this down a bit. Uh... I'm going to say art there because I know Toa is an artist. And then if I did this. Uh, Kota. Uh, oh, Haj. Um... If you have a preference, if you want to be in a box or doing something else or chilling, feel free to let me know. I'm always happy to change this. It's really just draft stuff. I think Tale does a bit of art, but also a bit of games. But there is also the, the egg. That's a bit of a meme. So I'm thinking by the tree with an egg. With... Egg. Uh, I'm gonna th I'm gonna say that these two are bickering. Don't mind, hell yeah. <laughs> also, this is two out of three or four people that I know would probably want to do the one shot. If it is a one shot, we can always do more. But Coda, Googly, and Lucky, um, and then potentially one more. We need to see if there's a time we all want to do a DD one shot or like adventure or something like that. Cause that would be cool. That would be cool. Um, but let's see. So they're bickering. Fourteen. So we know that this is gonna be like some sort of piece of fucking machinery or something. I'll look at a reference when I need to. Um. Hmm. I need to get into contact with some more. Like, there's a lot of people there, but it's whether or not they're either they want to or not. But uh, the white Brizzle is at least one that I would probably want to add. Good old Joel. The chicken. I think maybe if white Brizzle is a definite, I'll put white Brizzle here. And potentially myself. Just bantering in a kitchen, maybe. Because uh, then, if we're doing that, we can always have like a bit of a, you know, those sort of open countertop sort of situations. Yeah, a bit of one of those. It's a kitchen. If it's not going to be a pool. Which I haven't decided, I'm going to be honest. Elder Seed at one stage. Uh, but, you know, like that. Just something like that. We could see if there's a game that all three of us want to play too at the moment, as if you want. I'm vibing. So that means what I can probably do is potentially just go Wybriz and Sav. So maybe my model. Wybriz. And save. But I don't want to take up a spot if there is a better person for the spot.
Uh, I guess I'll just put it here. I know roughly what it is. <laughs> do, 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 do. Just do that briefly. Do, 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 dum, dum. Yeah, I think the kitchen would be better. It makes more sense. Um, so it's four and five. So obviously I'll switch it out if Y Rizzle doesn't want to be. But I don't, don't reason. Uh, he's one of my besties. I I can trust that. I know he he would just feel happy about it. Um, but we are. I've still asked. Don't worry. Don't worry. Permission is key. La -na 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 -na. Let's knock that off. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, eleven. And I've got one, two, uh, it's five here, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then 11 is me. <laughs> and if there's 14, that's three left that I know I can fit in somewhere. I feel like if Lucky if Lucky wants to be in it, I feel like Lucky would be here just sort of ah, aghast with the thing or something. Or just be a gremlin on the roof. I do like the idea of someone just being a gremlin on the roof. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> That's an idea that I'm not going to give up that easily. I like the idea of a roof gremlin. Um, Lucky does feel like the sort of person who'd be a roof gremlin. Or here. I oh, know. I say lucky for now. I'll put the asterisk there just in case. Um, which then leaves one, two, three spots. Who do I think's most likely to want to? I mean, at this stage, it's really just like whoever nabs it first. <laughs> I think. Because there's a bunch of people I, I want to appreciate, but I don't have the space for, at least in this design. Say lucky is a maybe. Now we got... We got ourselves, uh, small people. I guess it'll be really whoever... Whoever says yes or no first. And there's always other people as well. Because uh, it would be cool to add someone like... There's a few people that I want to add, but I don't feel like want to be associated with me as much or would be annoyed by me. And so I just don't want to ask. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm vibing. So we can do a little bit more scribbling on this if we want, or, but I do want to check. Ooh, my back ledge. Oh. I need to, but yeah, are you two free today? We could game or vibe or something, to whatever extent, if you want to. Let me know, because I'm keen. Mm. Uh, could do some Omega Strikers. I don't know. It'd be fun to do something that all three of us have. <laughs> Langs, Goob. Langs, Langs. And there's, there's people that I want to add, but I just don't know them well enough yet. And it's sort of like, I want to add them... But we haven't actually officially hung out yet. It's like, oh yeah, get along. 
we would happily get along, but we just haven't yet. And so I'm like, I don't know. So I've just waited off on asking them. It's weird. It's weird. It's fun, but it's weird. Gonna play some Fallout 4 for now? Yeah, no. Nah, but you'll be free tomorrow. Hell yeah, man. Chill vibe. It's nice to have you here. And nah, it's it's good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, so we've got some spots of where we want some people, obviously. And there's a few spots of, like, where some people can go. We can always add more spots, change things around. But we've got a bit of a messy design coming along. <laughs> An extreme emphasis on messy. <laughs> but messy nonetheless. I want to switch to a different palette. Unless it got lost. Oh, I lost the palette because it crashed at one stage. And I didn't lose progress that I'm aware of, but I did lose the palette. Ah, dick. Oh well. I think you can always just grab some more colors anyway. Oh no, we're totally out of colors. Oh no. Nah, we're vibing, we're vibing. You're tired? I get that. That makes sense, that makes sense. Now, because there's a bunch of different colors for different parts of the sketches, I'm tempted to sort of... Hmm. Do we leave this? Uh, or maybe we could just like... We could. I'm thinking. Let's just minimize it a bit. Obviously, we've got the text. That's right. A lot of it is just scribblage at the moment. Yes, yeah, so those are some black line scribblage. Uh, that was some more scribblage. <laughs> what was this one? Oh, yeah, this is the main. Yeah, we can always shrink things down to a more the more blueprinty fashion. Because that at least. That does that, obviously. That might be a good idea. Yeah. Now, if I went... I'm going to get a new, new layer. And I'm just going to... Just going to see what else pops to mind, I guess. Maybe, I want to increase this so I can at least see it. <laughs> it doesn't help if I can't see it. So we've got the focal point there. Um, so. Yeah, what tool are we using? What tool are we using, lads? There we go. What we're doing now. Hydrate. Fucking hell, sure I will. Ah! Thanks, Googles. Absolute champ. Um, yeah. Mm. Thinking, thinking. Yeah, so this center area is one bit that I want to define a little bit more. We, I wanted sort of like a Nordic pattern, and then sort of it sort of fuels some other things, I guess. Um... We do have... Do we want the Zeppelin... What angle do we want that Zeppelin to go in on? Not that it matters too much. But... Uh, that's going to be a bit sketchy.
How many steps do we want? Fuck it, hell, that's a good question. Yeah, always keen to st still uh, talk about character stuff. If you want me to do that, um, if if you don't want that public on stream, I can just do a muted art stream for a little bit. I don't mind, because art streams are one of those streams where it doesn't matter too much if you're muted. People are there for the coziness. No, that's not what I was looking for. But yeah, whatever, whatever you feel like. Now I can be unmuted? Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. No stress. And yeah, encoder while you're playing Fallout, if you also feel like vibing. Obviously, I understand social battery very well. So if you're also just naked uh, socially, respect that, respect that. Uh, so obviously, we know this is going to be here. You know, this is going to be here. <laughs> yeah, so if we think about it, we can sort of just have, doesn't matter too much right now, we're still figuring out what we want where. Um, I do definitely still think, um, maybe, I think, where is it? Uh, one stair, this is the top of the second stair-ish. Um, yeah, around this second stair. It's a little, it's just behind it that this seems to be up. And I know that that's like the same here from memory, or at least it should be the same here. Because it is a straight on angle, and so there shouldn't really be any too much deviation. Now the reason that's good is that sort of indicates the height, but then that means we sort of have to keep that height the whole way along. 
or at least indicate said height. Because otherwise, um, it just looks like it suddenly went down for no reason. Obviously, distance makes it okay to shrink it down a tiny bit. But we've got to shrink that down a tiny bit there anyway. Um, which is good, which is good. We've got a tiny bit. Now, that would make sense to come along here. We're just sort of vibing. Um, and obviously, just going to scribble a little bit for the moment. Get some concepts on the table. Uh, now these little wall bits here, I do like that. It really adds that uh, incline. Oh, the angle's a bit off, but we can fix that. That's not too difficult to do. Um, but what we did need to do is we wanted to establish that this juts out like that. Where does that jut out in the squares behind it that I've got? It's like around the second third one. Yeah, so you can subtly see um, is that. And then just above half, I would say, we do that same pattern again. Because that allows us to indicate that it is stray from the wall. But we would likely then need to continue that pattern along. Which we can figure out uh, along the way, I guess. Because we are just, you know, having a bit of fun, doing some loose sketching. This ain't no line art confirmed stuff yet. But noting that this is front on, so we're not going to completely see those angles the entire time. I do think this curves in a bit too much, maybe. Um, but what we can do is, after we've done a little bit of these scribbles, I'll lower the background drawings, and then we can compare it to the squares to make sure they've lined up well. Um, that's the course of action I'm thinking of at the moment, anyway. Now, we can have the next set of stairs here. Um, originally, I was thinking maybe like a... I don't know, like a seat looking out. But I think just honestly, just like... A, just a basic ass little couch or chair looking out might be nicer. Even if it's just... You know those low back seats? Those low back ones that are sort of just like... Just chill and relaxing. I'm um, thinking one of those. Obviously, with the stairs there, it looks like it's directly on the stairs, but once... Uh, I think that the thing that really defines whether or not that looks like it's on top or not is when you do shading later. Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> to do this will be a, uh, probably the biggest art project on stream I've done, but it'll be fun. Because I haven't done that in a while. Uh, so obviously there's a bit of a chair. There'll be someone here. We do need to be able to establish that people will be able to walk along here. So if I had something like that, obviously I want to make sure that that's accurate over here as well. Yeah, because then you can sort of do that. And then that's nice. Have some people come along here. Yeah. Now here I know at the very least there'll be two chairs. I think I'll just mark them like these little... I'll mark the chairs as like these little semi circly bits for now. Of 
Could also be a bit of a back backstop bit there. That could be interesting. Yeah, I like the idea of having something slightly behind there so they can sort of lead in behind it. Be right back? Yeah, nah, it's all good, man. It's all good, it's all good. Now there, obviously, I like the idea of them bickering. Because um, they always are. Don't you dare crash on me now. That scared me a little. There we go. <laughs> Been a bit stuttery today. All right, there we go. This means that this should probably be more like this. Well, I mean, it is a triangular space anyway. So it's like... How, but it's such a strong perspective I've made, I've given. So it's like, Something like that. Now, you can have someone hanging, I guess, sort of drip, drop, flip, flop on over here. I can leave that. So if this is going to have a back thing, can always have a chair, but I don't know. You retard that you do. The returner. Oh. Perspective of that slightly off, but I mean, the concept there is okay. That's what we're working on right now. Getting some more of that thick concept.
Going to uh, trying to go to Buffalo Wild Wings tomorrow because they give me free wings for your birthday. Hell yeah. Get that free sauce. Get that free drip. You get that bread. Now we know that that's here. Hell yeah. Wild wings like your favorite thing to do for your birthday? Or is that just like what you're craving at the moment? Just what you're craving, and it's free? Fuck yeah, yeah, so you're not passing that up. Nah, hell yeah. That's the fucking spirit. Don't pass up the free grub. I hate squares. I hate boxes. You lay your nine. Well, we've at least got, I know, some drawer or something here. Got anything else funky planned for your birthday? I don't know if I feel right about this bit over here. Feels off, feels off, feels off.
If I get this corner block right, the rest will be at least a tiny bit easier. I say with almost no confidence in my ability. I could technically do parallel lines like the tool, but right now I'm too lazy. <laughs> it is literally the reason. The laziness is just too high. Sent you a message? Fuck yeah. Give me a sweet second. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I'll wiggle this one across. Zoom. Zoom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do want a like, nice little walkway bit. So what we'd probably want... I'll just erase this and I'll check you miss. Yeah, there we go. Because that's roughly... Because there would be an area you'd walk into it. That's where you'd walk in. Um, There is the starting screen thing. So I don't know how big I want that. But I was presuming I'm just having it this big just to make sure. And then if I need to draw stuff underneath, I will. But it gives me a nice sort of space to work with. But that's enough space for like two people. So got that as just like a nice little spot potentially. And let me bling bling blong myself over. Still getting used to my keyboard because it's a bit smaller. It's a fronkin shronky donk. Now, the curse of the box, I think we've lifted slightly. It's a lot easier to do now by starting with a vanishing point. I forgot how crucial that is to more like the engineering, architecture side of drawing. I think that's what our issue was last time. We were just trying to go from square one. But here, this ain't no square one. So this gives us a rough idea. I'm going to do that for now. <laughs> there we go. So, you know, 
There's the there's the coder box. Also, I always forget, do you actually have a preference between Haj or Coda? If you do, let me know so I can wanna make sure I use everyone's preferred everything so I can respect that and you know. That's who you are. And thus I wanna I wanna make sure I remember it. I always just switch between the two because I'm like both work as very nice names. <laughs> so just like Harsh. Coda. Kaj. Coda. But da da bosh. Tomato. 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 Seems easier for people to use Coda. So which one ever, ever is easier? Easy. It's funny. Yeah, everyone was I was uh doing Coda a lot. Um, yet I was so used to just doing Hajj and I noticed everyone's doing Coda. I'm just like, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> There's a door there. Now we do. We can have some machinery up here or something. Is what I was originally thinking. To sort of get that. That sort of. Chemically feeling. I do like the idea of the machine not being like a com completely like. Straight. <laughs> Who's straight these days anyway? Boring. <laughs> but no like. Uh, I do want to. Yeah, maybe some sort of pipe there. And that would, like, go down or something. Because that could work well. So we've got... We have the spot where we wanted the tree, and I'm curious if I want it there. Or not. The... the Ah, Tumble, it's been forever. How you been? Hope you're well. Uh, name originated from an Elder Scrolls D&D &D campaign we were playing. Zargonian for Hides and Shadows. <laughs> I love that. That's so good. Oh, that's so good. What have you been up to, Tumble? You having a good day? Hope you are. You good old egg. If I did that... What if I did that? Okay, yeah. That could work there. Could have some, like, blibbly blobbly stuff in there, maybe. Perspective's a bit off, but to be honest, I don't entirely care. <laughs> I like that wacky perspective, as long as it doesn't feel out of place. Um, so that's there. There's the door. Where would this be going? I'm having it up there. Could be sort of like filtering back in and out. I don't know why it would be, but could be. <laughs> um, you know. Could add like a valve or something to it. Uh, time zones do not match up. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, you good? That's awesome, that's awesome. Work been going well for you? You're not burning yourself out? Hope so. And yeah, for context, I want to make a personalized starting soon screen. And so at the moment, that's what I'm sort of drafting and conceptualizing at the moment. Because I thought it'd be really cool to not only do that, so it's more personalized, but also just, you know, I want to have people and friends on there, like streamer friends that have either been an inspiration or like have been close and have been good friends amongst the whole process. And sort of as like, almost like a little cute, friendly um, respect and sort of, you know, just a nice little community sort of like thing. I don't know. Yeah. So it's just, ooh, oh, oh, hey, Googly, how you going? Let me just quickly make sure I've got your, I'll get your PNG up. Hold on. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, let me just do that. Oh, that's cut out. It was my end. It was my end. No, no, no. I, I minimize a lot of them so it uses less data. So don't worry. My computer's being uh, a tiny bit slow say, right now. I was going to say, my VPN opened oh. automatically. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And teleported me to Japan out of nowhere. Oh. <laughs> oh, my woman. Oh, <laughs> shit. Shinderu. Noni? Uh, there's sadly a lot to do. We're going to get to work soon. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, good luck uh, with your work, Tumble. Woke up in the middle of the night. There's one right now. Yeah, I'm just like, hmm. 
generally you're here when you haven't slept well or you're about to go to work. <laughs> um, but I hope work goes well for you. And you have a great day. It's always nice having you here. Uh, let me find... Uh, let's just browse the source. It's probably already here. I'm just going to re-add it. Because I'm a lazy bitch. There we go. And we just got large. Hold on, actually, I can always just like. <laughs> that lines up too well. It's terrifying, and I love it. Hello there. <laughs> okay. Anyway, do you want to talk about Hell your yeah. character? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. I'm just gonna go down the list that you gave me. <laughs> Specifically, because it's easier. <laughs> yeah, no, he's easy. Um, <laughs> which open? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no stress. Oh, um, okay, so <laughs> you gave me like a couple quick questions. Yep, yep, yep. And one of them was uh, personality flavors. <laughs> yeah. So that's just like any added like little bits and bobs. So that's things like oh, I think some of them are like little headings of the groups. I can I can open it up. Let me have a look. Um, let's open that shit. Uh, uh, boom, boom. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? All right, just searching the name. It's a lot easier. <laughs> um. <laughs> Where are we? Personal? Yeah, so it's got the little wigglies, so that's just, uh, that's a, that's a little grouping. That's a grouping one. So within yeah. personality flavors, it's like weaknesses, needs, desires, passions, re redeeming qualities, defining traits, principles, dichotomy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so for weaknesses, mm -hmm. we're starting out with no visible ones like at the at the very beginning of the series true 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 no visible weaknesses at all no one yeah can no, no out visible how ones to yeah freaking hurt this guy <laughs> yeah yeah but it's sort of is there a weakness like it could be a weakness in their pride or or it could be a weakness even just in their their comfort in belief that they have no weakness it's sort of like uh, a weakness isn't always something that is known by anyone um yeah. But yeah, at the very least, we know that. Uh, at the very least, yeah, yeah. So none of them are, when it comes to visible, none of them are visible yet. And so no visible ones yet. However, yeah. he does have a weakness because of his dragon's weaknesses. Because as I mentioned before, your character can talk to your dragon. Hell yeah, the only uh, way. Telepathically with the with the with that uh eye ability. Oh yep yep yep. Yeah, How to so talk to your dragon. Uh, yeah. yeah, so it's telepathy. However, yeah. It can get scary because if, let's say, the dragon passes out or dies or sleeps or whatever, he immediately loses that contact. Oh, yeah. So that's like a, uh, yeah, so that's like a D and D warlock. Dragon, yeah. Yeah. But if he's not with his dragon and all of a sudden it just goes silent. Then he gets slightly worried. Okay, so because of how strong that bond and connection is, inversely, it reminds me of when I did some voice acting training. It's like when you're looking through a script, it's if you know something is, then what else is and isn't. Um, and it's sort of like yeah. we, so if we know that um, he has this really strong, reliable connection, then we know that in, inversely, if that's lost, then there is that. Massive impacts, not um, in every aspect, um, in the sense of just like physically in shock, mentally and just um, and emotionally in worry, anxiety, um, psychologically, depending on how strong this telepathic bond needed to be to create it, and thus how much damage is there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It That's also cool. Yeah. Doesn't easily get worn out i want to say but mm. if you make him use too much ability just like anyone in this universe he will 
like used too much energy. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a stubborn, stubborn person. Yeah, so he may not lose a battle of endurance, but any battle of endurance can still be lost. True. Um, okay. And for needs, mm -hmm. I just say like, uh, I, I don't know song. if you saw it, but like when I sent you the image of, um, I'm just gonna call him Aztec for the moment because that was his original name. That's cool. Well, you could always have that as like a code name that he uses so that he doesn't get found out in letters and stuff, and then his actual name can just be exactly yeah. kept hidden. Yeah. That's kind of his anonymous name. Mm. I'm going to give that out about the series. Um, That's his anonymous name when he's trying to be sneaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like in person or anything, because no one names their kid Aztec, but... No. <laughs> I mean, I like, guess it sort of depends on, like, if it's, depends on, yeah, yeah, culture, there's, like, if it's more built on realism, yeah, they wouldn't be, but then you, if you're looking into more, like, tiefling stuff, funnily enough, Chainsaw Man Power reminds me 100% of, like, how a tiefling names himself in, <laughs> um, D&D, &D because they're based off something that they've got that sort of attachment yeah. to or who they are because they've lost some other attachments, so that's why they can be, like, named, like, uh, a darkness regret things like that which is also if you've ever read the robin hobb farce trilogy books um there's a lot of names a lot like that and if you haven't read those books 100 percent recommend it great inspiration for writing but also just amazing books um and so there's things like patience and regal and um chivalry and stuff like that are sort of names yeah so for this one Codename Aztec is currently what I'm thinking. Um, okay, okay. But he has this, like, tooth necklace. Like, this shark teeth necklace. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, what's the tooth and... of? Is it, like, the mother of the dragon, or is it, like... No, no. The dragon actually ends up doing something very kind of symbolic. Mm-hmm. And so when these dragons, when one of their loved ones die, then they tend to um, adapt to, like, what that person was like. Mm. Or dragon was like. And so if they had, like, a specific uh, quirk about their look, then that dragon would then adapt to that quirk. Okay. That's so cool. they basically become the look of this other dragon that died. Mm. That's interesting. Uh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And so... So it's like a very symbolic this, gesture. Yeah. And then this tooth necklace, uh, which is kind of funny that I'm calling it that because it looks like teeth, but it's not. Okay. Uh, so... These so things on the necklace mm. look like shark teeth, and that's what they're supposed to look like. But in reality, they're souls that this person collects. Okay, so a bit like a lich. Uh, kind of, but also think Reyna from Valorant. Okay, yeah, yeah. Is it this like a? Is it an item of comfort for them, or is it more just like a general sort of just a thing they have? It's a necessity. Bare necessity. Da, da, da. So, they, your character specifically, um, can purely use souls as energy. Ah, oh, yep, yep, yep. So, soul so necklace. That, that comes in line. That like comes in line teeth. with the running out of energy. Mm. Because of that constant telepathic link. Oh, yes. Um, uh, and. So it's if almost like stockpiling energy, the energy so that it doesn't cost as much in the heat of a battle. Exactly. And so yeah, this yeah, way yeah. he doesn't have to run. He can keep fighting full force while the other person runs. Yeah, and that's what gives him the imp uh, gives other people the impression he's like he's got almost like an endless supply of his energy. It's more that he exactly. stockpiles it. And so each one of these uh, things on his necklace are kind mm. of like capsules and these capsules are stones that can hold souls in them yeah yep yep 
and to open this gateway to let him collect the souls, I added like a little um, head brace type of thing. Oh, okay, so, so he it, sort of has to do a lot of work to um, use the necklace. Kind of, yeah. Okay, so, so that, that's has even. To use this yeah. thing, and it puts this stone up against his forehead. That, in placement wise, is kind of where your third eye is. If you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. that I get that. And so then it connects the realms to then have him be able to collect and devour souls if he wanted to. Yeah, which I guess um, then goes back into weaknesses because that's also like a, um, if souls. Uh, depleted method of uh, recharge is timely. Exactly, yeah. Easy. Um, Any needs, I guess? Because I'm just sort of jumping about based so off what you're saying. The needs. Because needs don't have to be things that they. Uh, needs are generally things. That's why I have I have needs and desires because a desire is something that you want or feel you need. But you don't necessarily need, and oh, a need is true. and a need is something that that character actually needs, whether they know it, believe it, or want it. So someone um, could, uh, I guess, desire um, to, um, I guess. I'm just trying to think of an example without looking up a previous thing I've made. Uh, someone could, I guess, um, desire, like, power to rule over or control people, um, but it, it's because they felt like they were, like, they had their control taken away from them or whatever sort of backstory it is, but rather than that, they sort of need to understand, their need would be more to, uh, that they need to understand and that people are their own people and controlling them won't get them the connection that they want. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd say he needs his mask, which is a really interesting okay. thing to say, because yeah. this mask was placed on him as a child, and he was basically kept in this dark area, because he, if he was seen, then people would kind of bully him for wearing this thing, but this is... I don't uh, think of it as so his uh, his mask is a is sort of a item of comfort. Not really, because okay, it's kind of like an oxygen mask, but with a mm. different chemical. And so, with this different chemical, his body has adapted to it to the point where it needs it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, if it doesn't get it, and he takes his mask off, he will die. Okay. Uh, and so that's actually referenced in um uh, in episode six. Ooh, okay. There's a huge battle right then. And yeah. Someone tries to rip his mask off to see who he is. Oh. And yeah. he basically pulls their hand and uh sprains it kind of. And yeah. Uses a pressure point on your arm that disables your arm that paralyzes it completely. And then he runs. Yeah, okay. But you could also say it is a need that is also an item of comfort because it's a... Does he have anything else that he holds a dear to him from his, like, past, I guess? Um, from his past, yes. Um, you can't see it because I accidentally put the powers, like, above it without making them too see-through. Um, uh, but I totally drew on these, um gloves type of thing. Oh, yeah. And they are power gloves given to him by his uh, father. Okay. And so Easy. basically he holds these items and uses them correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it makes him a super overpowered character. Interesting, okay. Uh, what sort of, I guess, just outside of the box of those questions, what sort of villain would you, I guess, put them into? Because there's a few categories for villains, typically. There's justification villains. Uh, they're villains that 
tend to have a a goal that people it's a very t- it's a very common type of villain these days as it works very well uh, it's the type of villain who has a the surface level uh, end of the motive has a makes a lot of sense but um their means in achieving it is bad and they know it but they're using their good goal to justify their actions they're trying to say that like the it's sort of just the uh actions justify the means sort of thing like that uh, that's more of a justification villain um okay. and then there's like what others it's been so long um i know there's also things like um I have to I'll have to read some of the books and stuff again I got. Um but there's a whole bunch of types of villains because if they're not justification there's also like um there, I don't know. Okay, I'll get back I'll to you. But you know what I mean, yeah. Way, but yeah. there is no particular reason why he's doing this. Mhm. He is doing it basically based on revenge. Okay. The world shut him out. He was forced to wear this mask, and now he can't take it off without dying. Yeah. And because he was shoved into this corner, this dark corner of the world where he wasn't allowed to be seen, he is now getting revenge on the people who put him that way. Yeah. Well, I guess you could sort of then he is sort of it is sort of like a revenge justification villain because he's like he's justifying his revenge based on it being a thing that people did yeah. to him first. And it's sort and of like so, a, hey, th- people did this to me first, so it's only fair I do it back to them sort of thing and yeah. take everything to have. It's, like, also, it's a bit like uh, Dracula from Castlevania. Um, yeah. Because um, he sort of, he his, um, if you don't know the context, and don't, and if you want, Spoilers. Um, uh, if you don't, effect, I'll try and keep it simple. Effectively, something happens where he was go. He sort of like st- was stopped from being bad, so, and then I uh, and so it's like because of this, he's not gonna hurt or be bad anymore. And then the very thing that was stopping him got taken away from him, and so he sort of became a big villain because of that because he's like, well, you took away everything from me. I'm gonna take every- everything away from you. Your character, or Aztec, he um, attacks because he doesn't see it the same way. So he's seeing it as pure revenge. Everyone deserves this. They deserve to perish, you know? Mm. Uh, and then he attacks the heroes because they're the big famous people. If he attacks them, it hits everyone. Mm, so he's trying to leave a mark. If so, they are known yeah. villains and people know their identities and he attacks them, then it kind of affects everyone. Everyone becomes that. Yeah, he wants everyone to leave a mark. Everyone yeah. is now in danger. Wipe out the superheroes, you now have control. Yeah. Does he have any thoughts and... or plans if he succeeds? So what happens when he succeeds? Not really. Hmm. Um, it's more of kill humanity before humanity kills you. Okay, so it feels more. Uh, it feels very almost animalistic, uh, defensive based on like trauma of this stuff happening yeah. and sort of now like, it's like you know, a hurt sort of animal and stuff's gonna bite when you stick your hand towards it, sort of thing. Yeah. Exactly. And then I'd say defining traits is, again, probably his mask. Yeah. Um, Or his soul necklace. Because if you see either one of those, you know you're dead. Mm. Like, you know he's right there. You know he's super powerful. The second that he pulls out the fire or air abilities or so sort of lightning his ability yeah. his abilities and attire uh stand out Sorry, 
very much so. Um, presence is highly notable. Uh, does he have any sort of, I guess, defining sort of like, I guess, traits within his personality? I guess my thought would have been he's very, almost like a wounded dog. Uh, because for a villain, it's good to know why and how they would deal with losing, because generally that's how a story is written. Um, right. Even if it's like a one two one or a one two two. Um, have you uh, seen or heard of the one two one one two two method? Oh. Sorry, that cut out. Did you say yes, you have or no, you haven't? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the yeah, I love those. Um, and so it's like even if one of those sort of is coming across, either way. Uh, there's still that level of some form of like how they, I love, it's like, it's always a good thing to explore, like how they deal with loss, even if they would for some reason ever experience it in the story. Um, because it's sort of, that's a natural state for a character and it fleshes them out. Even if that means they have one fight that helps you sort of figure out how they would respond to certain things. And my initial feeling with him is like, because he is like this wounded dog, he feels betrayed hurt by the world and thus he wants to remove he effectively wants to remove this world because uh uh because of its desire to remove him sort of thing like that and so it's that initial belief that things are there to initially hurt or i guess attack him or whatever it is that makes me feel like even if there is a slight hint at something that could be negative even if it's positive or constructive criticism he would be very quick to bite like a wounded dog very quick to snap very quick to um not uh, exactly. very quick to yeah. be like no and so if he has henchmen minions and things like that i feel it would be very um it wouldn't intentionally be one to sort of be always oh i just kill all my henchmen and stuff like that but he would be someone that uh, if someone tried to critique him or something like that in a way that triggered something, uh, it could go bad. But then also you could have a dichotomy of because he doesn't want to be like the world, he may want to destroy it, but he doesn't want to be the same as it. So it could be he'll easy, me, easily so snap. My is freaking out. Hey, all good. <laughs> Speaking of dogs, yeah. <laughs> I am back. Welcome back. My brother says hi. Hey, hey, hope they're well. Why is my okay? I'm re- I'm playing Valorant while I'm talking to you. Yeah. My ping, like. Wow. Okay. I don't know if my VP is my VPN on. Potentially, the VPN tends to always. Um, I I never run. I can't. I have to run my VPN when I'm not streaming because otherwise it sort of throws things out of whack. It put me in the Netherlands. There it is. Well, Ah, I wonder if you met, would play a game with some of my Dutch friends. <laughs> oh, sick. Sorry, my brother just came into my room. Uh, he got an actual microphone? He, he just got a new headset, so he's explaining to me all the stuff about it. Oh, cool. What headset That's did he get? Man. It's going to be great. This thing can plug into all my electronics. Oh, cool. He's... His new headset can, like, do some really cool stuff. Oh, hell yeah. His other one broke and, like, started being finicky, so it wouldn't work unless you put it in a very specific position. Oh, I hate when that happens. That's always the saddest thing, because it's not completely dead, so you're like, oh, please, oh, please work again. <laughs> and so it can connect to basically anything that he has. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would, so it, it, <laughs> yeah, it I would recommend being careful. Don't use Bluetooth headphones on a PC. Take this from the oh, the guy who knows. <laughs> because the second you I can, tried, you can plug it, it in, crashed. Or use Bluetooth. Yeah. 
Oh, that's cool. Like, I like hopefully that. Hopefully, he's smart and plugs it in. But. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so if for some reason he uses Bluetooth headphones and things just start crash crashing more often, don't use the headphones in Bluetooth. Because Windows, for some reason, just acts weirdly with Bluetooth headphones. It's a notorious crasher. Anyways, we were talking about your character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um, it's a bit like how, because they are a bit like a wounded dog, it's sort of like, if you also wanted that dichotomy of, like, they bite but then regret, sort of, it's that sort of, he doesn't want, so if there is, is anyone who is on his side to try and help him accomplish these goals, he can be very strongly attached to them because it would take a while for him to get that said trust, and so, and if he did have that wounded dog sort of bite response to any of them, I feel his dichotomy would be, he would be very regretful and sorry on a genuine standpoint. Um, um, but yeah. it'd be interesting to hear what um, your plans and thoughts are for like how they react to stuff like that. And So my yeah. plan for your character is he feels like everyone on the earth basically deserves to die. Mm. Now, would he ever take on someone that would, uh, if they also agreed that, would he ever take on someone that agreed with those principles to his side? So, no. Mm. Uh, if anyone else was put through this and was basically shoved to that corner of the world where everyone hated them, everyone mistreated them, everyone abused yeah. them, whatever... He would sympathize and immediately, like, apologize, immediately, like... Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Sympathize and talk with them. Yeah. And once you get them talking, once you get those two characters talking, a relationship builds where they're basically like, screw this world, I don't want to be in it anymore, stuff like that. Precisely, precisely, that's what I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Hmm. Now, I guess, sort of, is there anything, obviously not presuming it would happen because they're a villain and so they're a part of a story as the villain, but in the hypothetical sense where anything was provided that would, uh, where their mind was open to stuff, is there anything that would, I guess, give them that... Um. I guess give them that um, satisfaction or relief or effectively something that would um, stop them or make them change their methods, even if it didn't stop them. Um, so, yes. As the situation that I said, mm. there's that one, and then there's also a couple others. Yeah, okay. So any situation that, like, if, uh, like, at the very least, like, that first one, if he was to turn around and, um, I guess, sort of notice he caused something like that to someone, that would really reshape how he exactly. feels, or at least give him so some existential if, thoughts. <laughs> if he basically shoved someone into the corner of the world, if he yeah. did that, he would immediately, like, shut himself down. Shut yeah. everything he's done down. And he he would basically kind of go back and, like, apologize to this person. Mm. And he would probably do a couple other things with that and try to give them what they need for life. Yeah. Because just how he... Uh, feels he needs his uh soul stone necklace, right? Yeah. If they needed something like that, he would straight up just give it to them. Yeah, yeah. So he is very much a it's a uh a, a villain of trauma, a villain of this yeah. is, yeah. and so to break that disbelief, uh, to break that 
uh, built in hate and belief of um, the world against him would be proving that he could end up doing the same thing to someone in the world. Exactly. Uh, so he has this constant fear of that. Yet yeah. He doesn't let any single bit of fear go. I guess that would also influence how he plans his moves and stuff as well, because he would be very cautious exactly. about like any damage and stuff might might be a thing where they're like, oh, this is really interesting why he's like doing all this damage to like heroes and big names, but he has not once tried to attack like a, an orphanage or something like that. Um, yeah. He's, whenever there was a big fight, he was actually, he's a villain that very rarely damages buildings, which also then adds to his very unique, strong aura, I guess, of like, he's got this massive presence and everyone knows how strong he is. And yet, in some ways, it could leave the heroes in a weird situation of yeah he's we know it, some of these buildings and people are going to be safe because he's not going to try and hurt them however that also means that it's difficult for them to move around because they they it's like the heroes won't uh, like some people won't feel that same level of threat or it could even feed a the sense of doubt between whether the heroes are good or bad uh thus yeah. indirectly unintentionally helping the villain yeah it will um have kind of like this art because mm. around episode four of what I've like made in the script this person uh so your character Aztec right mm. he totally does put someone in this position he puts one of the heroes in that mm. and then immediately feels remorse for it yeah is that yeah it'd be interesting yeah yeah it would be interesting. immediately yeah. feel sorry for what he's done. For yeah. What he had to do to that person. Yeah, no, it's interesting. I like that. And nah. so it's kind yeah. of like uh, they put him they put him into this position and he fought back. Yeah, which in a, in a sense makes it very interesting in for position. the heroes to try and convince to stop him when he's doing a lot of stuff that like it's like it's very clearly someone that's like hurt from trauma, so they might not want to go. Some heroes might not even want to go full power because they might be want they they want to just like see if they can help or save him, um, and that can potentially cause to death and stuff like that. And in those situations, the villain could blame the other heroes for putting the heroes in that situation as to deflect guilt. You know, yeah, no, it's interesting. I like I'm liking it. So, so I guess innately. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but um, oh, you go now. All right. So basically, his character is very sympathetic, and rather than a villain, closer to a broken hero. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's a, he's a villain of circumstance. Well, yeah. Because he's still doing bad things. In that sense. I guess it's sort of one of those things where it's like, is he someone that, um, I'm trying to remember. I guess it's sort of one of these things where it's like, he is a villain in that regards, but it's like, he's got a lot of sympathy when he knows he's hurt someone directly, because that would have been from his actions. But how quickly is he to deflect blame when the heroes are, when something else happens? Like, is it like a never situation? Is it a, hey, okay, a hero got hurt in this conflict, it's because you're trying to stop this, and thus it's a deflected, like, how often will he deflect blame and not realise some of the consequences of his actions, and how often would he realise his consequences of his actions, sort of things like that? Or is that more like the whole journey of his character, I guess, and in some weird way? I'd say around half of the time. Because yeah. 50, around 50% of the time, yeah. He realizes, oh crap, I did this. I was the one who put this hero in this position. I'm just going to shut it down, you know? Yeah. But the other half of the time, because it's kind of like a 50 50 shot if you'll make him feel bad. Yeah. Uh, Would if, he. Oh, yeah. Uh. Uh, if you do, then he'll kind of shut it down. But if you don't, then he will immediately place the blame on you. No, you did that to yourself. Yeah. Interesting. Would he ever sort of, I guess, 
anonymously help heroes or something like that so that it's like okay he knows this hero this part of the heroes are sort of like they're rebuilding some damage that is done i want to destroy the world but obviously i don't want to put people in bad situations it will sort of help in certain areas but anonymously too like or is he more like he wouldn't do that um i'm sorry can you say that again i got a little so laggy no, 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 all good. So you know how um, he is... Um, let me just... Give me one second. I'm just trying to line something up. Just trying to make sure it's at the right angle. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I guess it's sort of like... Obviously knowing that he can sometimes cause issues because of his actions... Is there at any point times where he would anonymously try and help out heroes or yeah, just people like that in order to sort of like compensate for some damage done, but then also be conflicted, be like, hey, I want to destroy the world, but I'm also help fixing it. But it's sort of like, and thus there's yeah, the internal strife and struggle. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So if he were to help someone like that, he would kind of help them mentally online. So if someone had, like, this is a really old, like, type of thing, but if someone just had, like, a random email that he happened to know. Yeah. And if he, let's say, like, knew that email, then he would immediately act like this person's friend who helped them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so on occasion, he will help heroes anonymous anonymously, and then immediately, like, if they hurt him in any way. Yeah. Damage them. Yeah, it makes sense, makes sense. So it's kind of like a half and half. He's a really good person. But then the second that he gets hurt, he can be the meanest person ever. Yeah, makes sense. He's a villain. So, yeah, it's one of those things where it's, like, interesting. It's, like, how often he might, like, would he ever mid-speech or, like, plan, just stop the plan and apparently for no reason because he's just having a sort of the internal mental conflict of being, like, is what I'm doing about to be doing going to cause the damage I want or the damage I despise? Because there's that conflict between which damage he wants to... the damage he wants to cause and damage he wants to avoid... And the inevitability of how they are both actually intertwined. Yeah, so he's a really in-depth character. Yeah, I like it. That's and good. this is kind of why I'm basing his voice lines around um, omens from Valorant and like the, his form of speech. Mm. Is because they're kind of similar. <laughs> yeah. Um, his omen constantly has mental conflict with himself and so does Aztec yeah it's that it's that internalized conflict because he does he's trying to justify some of his actions because he knows that in the end like w what he's doing some of the damage he wants to cause for setting an example is going to inevitably be the very damage he's avoiding exactly of this mental conflict of will this be the type of damage that I really want to do yeah and I guess there's that journey that of figuring out like you can't actually ever have one without the other exactly. these people are intertwined with the world and it's because he was intertwined with the world that he had that damage and so I guess it's his weird sort of that's his villain journey of coming to that realisation that you can't avoid that in some weird way. But I guess there's also that cool thing of like, is that something he's going to realize too late and all that sort of stuff? Yeah. Kind of. The way that I take voice acting is kind of as since it's your character, you get to make. This, you, uh, on occasion, get to make the decisions whether 
your character would make this certain action or choice. Yeah, yeah, that so makes it's sense. Kind of like a D and D game. Yeah, well, like that's that's all. Yeah, a lot of good fun. voice acting sort of stuff goes like that because it's like you're trying to get a you're trying to find someone who's best suited to that character, and you're trying to convey as the director the intent and everything behind that said character. But then you also want to make sure that that's something that comes natural to the person, um, and how they want to interpret it as well. But yeah, that's why I like all these sort of things because it helps me try and figure out these little bits and bobs because I find it's the same with D&D. &D. The more you know the character, the better it goes because if that's why in D&D &D I tend to have like multiple sessions. For a campaign, I have multiple sessions where we haven't even started a single game because yeah. it's literally just building the world. Everyone, that way when someone goes into it, they know their characters, they know the world, they know who they know. It feels real and because it becomes natural to them so their real only focus and thought process is just on the game. Um, and then they don't have to worry about oh, if they're losing uh, track of things on what they do and don't know. Do they know this language? Do they know this person? They know these things. They figured out this sort of stuff. And then they can enjoy it more because it becomes an in in a innate thing, I guess. Oh, speaking of languages, he speaks this um, kind of forbidden and forgotten language. Mm -hmm. um, which... I have totally forgotten to name. And no, I'm not right. even not gonna like, try. feeling bad to admit it. I mean, if it's uh, another <laughs> language, it doesn't have to be named in a common tongue. <laughs> exactly. Um, but he speaks this language that's close to him because mm. his father spoke it. Mm. Him and his father were on difficult terms before his father passed away. And yeah. so because of that, he has like debatable feeling he can feel both yeah. like super happy about it on some occasions and then absolutely awful about it on some occasions that makes sense with any level of even just like any level of trauma and stuff like that that's that's fairly common yeah so that makes a lot yeah, of sense so so he speaks this language that um basically no one speaks anymore but oh, he yeah. speaks it uh to his dragon. That's cute. And his dragon speaks it. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like he can both understand it and if the dragon is being silent, he can speak to his dragon anyway. Mm, because, of like this because of this leopard. Yeah. No, that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Any other I guess, questions? Yeah. I guess just I first off... No, no, that's right. I'm vibing. That's just generally how... That's why I like these lists, because eventually you start off with it and then slowly you just get into chatting and vibing about the character and getting to really know them and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just, I guess, using that, uh, I guess, innate initial um, thingo while my brain's trying to do a few multiple thingies. Um... And maybe, um, I guess if we briefly went over the list, the uh, his desires, obviously grand desire, is, um, revenge in the sense of, um, eye for an eye sort of thing. Yeah. But there are minor desires too. Would would it be minor desires? Uh, he has like minor desires of to uh, never put someone in the same position as he was in. Uh, does he have desires of just like anything for his dragon? Does he think of like, okay, if he destroyed all the world, does he want to create like a nice little area so, uh, keep. Does he want a? Okay, I want to destroy the world, but there is a safe spot I want to create for my dragon. Um. Yeah. So there's kind of like this. Um. What's the word? There is this place, but it's more of a mental thing. 
So, so it's more like a D and D Feywild sort of stuff. Exactly. So it it's a plane of um uh, of basically like everything his dragon could possibly want. Hmm. Because not even that it would, but surely if. Yeah. And so it's kind of the mental state of I want this place for my dragon, but if he destroys the world, he won't have that place. Exactly, and that's one of the things I guess, which is one of the things that really makes him a uh, one of the good things about him as a villain when it comes to connectivity is he always has someone next to him that will never betray him that will give that opening of connectivity because that dragon will always be there for him to realize he can't completely achieve that hyperbolic goal he has. Because subconsciously exactly. and at an innate level, he would know it's hyperbolic because it's revenge-based. It is more second, just... Hey, I'm back. Sorry about that. Welcome back. No, don't be, don't be sorry. Um, parents came home, so dog went and barked. Um, <laughs> all good, all good. <laughs> and, um, can you remind me what we were talking about again? Oh, ADHD brain goes burr. Um, <laughs> very much so. Um, I guess it was more just the, his innate sort of the dragon being there sort of shows how he's got an innately hyperbolic goal, as it would be a very... As he knows he can't ever fully achieve that without damaging something, which is the very thing he doesn't want. And so he would thus subconsciously know his revenge is hyperbolic. Like, he would know very well, yeah, that's a... Um... Like, yeah, doing doing something like doing the revenge is doing the heckin' revenge. Um, having that revenge is only going to help at a surface level, which means he's already at that slight level of n understanding in the impact it'll have, I guess, which is good. But it's interesting yeah. to see how that will be, like what level... Like what certain levels, certain things will be portrayed and what won't be and all that sort of stuff. Um, that part will be very interesting. Yeah, because there's definitely that... Um, uh, yeah, I guess it's it's definitely that sort of level of how will that be done by this and all this sort of stuff. He, he knows that that's going to be... Um, yeah, he sort of knows it's going to be that level of it being a pain and stuff, but yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, it's trying to figure out what level, what 
level of stuff is he willing to sacrifice for his goals because he knows his goals will cause some level of damage yeah it's kind of a uh, interesting thing to see play out <laughs> yeah yeah 100 percent i'm i'm very interested in seeing how it'll how it'll plan out it'll be good um i guess when it comes to redeeming qualities is obviously the sympathy empathy and desire to uh prevent the same isolation and pain that's a redeeming quality i guess passions well he's got his passion for like um well he's passionate about his dragon presumably um so looking looking uh after those dear to him he's passionate about um i guess being heard no uh that's more of a desire i would say um that because because okay. his desire is his his revenge innately comes from that desire to feel that love because he's been because of how much it's been hurt and so he feels that things are only innately going to damage him and everyone else more and so it needs to be removed rather than real rather than but that comes from a yearning of loss uh, so I guess that's a good need because he's got his need is the mask, but he's also got his internal struggle that has that need, which is that um, love and connection from safety um, due to the damage caused, I guess. It's sort of like if he went a different... It's sort of like there is that damage that's been caused and all that revenge and stuff is innately due to that desire to remove that said damage. So having a, a safe space and that healing is sort of a need for him that he's unaware of. Yeah. Mm, uh, correct me at any point if I'm wrong, because these are just like how I'm sort of... What I'm picking up from the character you want me to portray. Oh, no, 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 you're doing great. Connection, but unaware as grief and pain have taken a forefront. It's like, once again, a bit like a wounded dog in the sense where innately, if you go to, if someone loving goes to them, they're going to innately want to like to hurt and defend themselves it, as it's a defense mechanism but then also within realizing that it is also that um same i guess uh, uh that same dog almost that um i guess sort of uh, i'm trying to think about it but it's yeah it's almost within that same thing where it's like once that dog actually realizes that hand is going to be loving it's so happy because it's realized that it isn't all just this pain yeah um i don't know yeah but that's sort of my, those are sort of i guess my my initial perspectives i'm gaining from this um I don't know, but I guess uh, that's just more from like innate just character and who they are and stuff like that, I guess, that I'm innately getting an uh, understanding or at least trying to, um, if at any point I get it wrong, I'm always happy to backtrack, but I guess so far, you if we go... you haven't anything wrong, like you, you've kind of adapted to this character's personality. Hell yeah, that's what I love doing. That's why I love that sort of sheet. That's what I love doing, do you? Um, yep. But yeah, it is that, I guess, within that innateness. Um, I guess we could look more into the actual... Obviously, design is there, but more in the... Because this isn't as much... Vis uh, there is the... It's voice acted for things like that, and a lot of things are like... One of the things I learnt 
that I loved learning is like when there's a visual media can you portray the scene without any words and inversely if it's just an audio media can you portray the visuals without the visuals it's like if you take away one will that still be able to be conveyed um and i really like that and how sort of things can come together and be designed and so with that it's like what when it comes to voice and we sort of briefly looked at the posture i guess that slight hunch but when it comes to like the voice and any mannerism mannerisms quirks and things like that that just sort of stand out or even one of my favorite things dichotomies what is that that's there we've already got a slight dichotomy within like a someone who wants to destroy all is uh like wants to protect all that would be hurt from destruction that's his biggest dichotomy i think um correct me if i'm wrong but it's that want to protect those uh who would be hurt from the same uh goal he has for revenge um and it's that dichotomy you know the, the classic dichotomy of like here's this big bodybuilder they go down a dark alleyway because they're going to feed some cats it's like it's that switch from it's that the it's the mirror the polar opposite of an expect a expected um result from a stereotype um but i guess when it comes to voice quirks things that stand out um like sort of how stressed does he get quickly and these things and obviously without trying to spoil scenes and stuff like that but like how if he's in a fight is it always ecstatic is or is it actually just that underlying sign of stress and worry because he's actually paying a lot of tra- attention to trying to make sure he doesn't do certain things um or is that you know what i mean there's like these sort of things that it's like okay what um yeah, what would be conveyed, I guess, uh, in different situations from anywhere between fights to, say, if he's having a peaceful day, nothing's happening, there's nothing he can do for a fight, and he's just having a decent day. What happens then? How does he convey himself in those situations? Because uh, it's also important uh, to know that because he is a person that is also just trying to escape things, how do they yeah. convey themselves in those times of actual joy and happiness and that sort of stuff um it's kind of a thing of so this person never takes off their mask obviously yeah uh, and they never really take off their armor or mm. um well you could you could joke in a in a really right? clever way in a sense where he doesn't take off his armor in both who he is and his actual physical armor and his masks exactly. as well because uh, both of them are actually very um symbolic as to who he is as well which you've done very yeah, well at. Yeah, yeah and so it's another thing of um who he is he never takes off his armor and he never takes off the mask for obvious reasons mm. um and so it in the situations where where you said he's kind of just having a peaceful day yeah a day so, off say if he's for some reason he was having a day off and everything was just like yeah. this is a day that he's actually yeah he's just sort of he's relaxing he gets to be who he would be in his best sort of state of relaxation. Best state of relaxation, most likely meditating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I sort of what does he gain from meditation? Is it sort of a piece from the pain that's sort of he, mentally there? Definitely. So it's it's um it's peace from all of the fighting. Yeah. All of the danger. Because he innately doesn't all want to of do that. Barely anything. 
Mm, yeah, because he innately doesn't want to do any of that. If I'm correct in assuming so. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. he's, he's doing it to escape what he's created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Arcane, and the monster you created. <laughs> he kind of gains this day or moment or whatever of peace. Where he doesn't have to deal with freaking heroes. He doesn't have to deal with basically anything. He just has to deal with the problems that he's created himself. Yeah, so he, uh, uh, so he sort of has, it's like, okay, I get some time to actually sort of reflect on what I've done so I can feel more at ease about it and, and sort of see what he needs to actually fix and what he can exactly. justify, which is a interesting, it's sort of like what, what looking back on what he's done to say, can, what from my goals have been justifiable by his own means, whether he's right or not, um, and what sort of stuff can he not justify um and then that i guess then determines his moves and stuff like that on whether he's gonna do something later or you know that sort of stuff yeah yeah i guess um fling me what was his daily routine say if he did do some meditation and that's fine. And he's just, for some reason, it doesn't even have to be anything to do with what would be in the show. Everyone has days off. What would his daily routine be? So, just because it, it creates a level of humanization. Even just like, okay, does he like breakfast? Does he not? And it's like, it may seem silly okay. to be like, okay, well, it doesn't matter. He's a villain. But it's like, so yeah. He is kind of styled in a way where, first, obviously, he wakes up. Next, he uh, he does what he has to do. Like yeah. he, this specific person, uh, basically feeds his dragon in the morning because he has to. Yeah, but does he like it's feeding one his of the dragon? That, especially with wait, what? Does he like feeding his dragon? So here's the thing. <laughs> If he doesn't feed his dragon, his dragon will go off in the telepathy and then just like basically so. be like, feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. Yeah, yeah. So until, it's a, until he does. Can be a bit of a so nuisance. It's, it's, it's yeah. Poor, but <laughs> uh, after a while, he generally gets he he gets used to it in a way. Yeah, it's it's like, peace within it's the stress because like it's a different type of stress. Yeah. It's just like feeding your pet, because that's basically yeah, what it's it's a it's a loving stress. And so, it's less so a chore, yeah. and more of just a um, necessity. Yeah, well, I guess it's it's like one of those. If you're in hospitality, one of the things you can like doing is turning around and just if you've got a second, do the dishes or something. Because it's yeah, that exactly. it's a yeah. chore, but it's a chore that won't cause you stress. It's that it creates that mindless, um, just it creates that sort of fun break from the actual bigger stresses that are happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, does he have many people that are working under him, I guess? Or does he not want to put other people into becoming that villain? He doesn't really want to make anyone the villain. Yeah. He knows what being a vil uh, villain is. He knows what it feels like. He's he felt the after effects. He yeah. The exactly. He's a villain and because so he believes he knows... it's necessary. Exactly. He feels that it is necessary to basically kill off anyone who has ever insulted him, even even though it's an extreme. No, no, but... no. It makes sense. He's in a hyperbolic defense mechanism based revenge thing. It's not. He doesn't have to be reasonable, exactly. it's just justifiable. And uh, so, there's that, and he does eventually find these um, android-like robots. Because it's the, the, they're not humans, and so it's a bit safer. Not and, humans, okay. but they look human. Yeah, so, which once again could link into his loneliness and desire for connection that he knows he's destroying. Exactly. 
Exactly. Easy. And so there's there's that. But it's also the fact that, you know what? He's a villain. He has needs. He has stuff yeah. that he's got to do. He needs henchmen. All right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like he, everyone, he people people need managers, it. and if you're just doing something exactly. as big as world conquering, like fucking, you're gonna you're gonna need a few people. And so it's kind of this position of he doesn't want to put real humans mm. that have feelings into this position of being a villain, working for a villain. If you even come in contact with a uh, someone so, would he get rid or... of other villains? That's a debate. It's sort of like um, well, he would only do it if he noticed that they were having an effect on someone else. If they were having an effect on someone else, like they, like the people of this world had an effect on him, heck yeah. He now, yeah, there. I figured as much. So I guess that leads into my next trap question. <laughs> Uh, it leads into my next thing of like, okay, but what if it's he knows it's his biggest enemy or someone who did something minor and he knows it's minor, but he sort of, he wants to stick to his, he he needs he needs to stick, uh, he mentally needs to stick to his goals and aspir- and his desires because otherwise he will be, otherwise he'll realize and think about all the negative he's done. It's, an, it's a um, stress yeah. escape, it's a negative stress escape mechanism. Um, and it's sort of with that, it's sort of like if he sees one of them who's done something to him, but then it's also like he sees them going through some like really, really nasty stuff and he knows, okay, they're going through the same thing. They've also, but I've also gone through the same thing, but clearly it looks like they've, they're different or something like that. It's like what, like, obviously there's going to be some conflict, but where would be sort of the headset, the end, the end result, all that sort of stuff. And hopefully you're liking these nice little. I guess this is almost these I are the sort of questions I tend. Really oh, these are the sort of questions I tend to ask when I make D and D campaigns because I, I really want to get these... make sure that everyone who's involved with a character really knows that that's a person. Yeah. So these types of questions get my brain working mm-hmm. when I don't have my brain working. A hundred percent. So if. If like I'm playing Valorant, which I currently am. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is a good idea. Yeah, She's sort of stim. Yeah. These... Exactly. So when you're asking me these questions, it helps for me to answer them while I'm playing the game, because then I'll play better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I get that. I get that. Yeah, no. So it's sort and of like. And so yeah. for these types of questions, specifically for that one, um. Your character as tech, known as the moment. Mm. Um, in that specific situation, he would have a mental battle with himself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But he would it be would uh, like, yeah? Himself, is it worth it? Yeah. Is it worth it to punch this person to death for hurting this person, or is this? Would it be a hurt? compromise of realizing, hey, okay, maybe I don't punch that. Like, it sort of does he go to a middle ground? Of exactly. like, okay, I won't completely destroy the villain, but I won't also, like, that way it's sort of like I'm not getting rid of the threat completely, but I also don't want to stand by and let the same thing happen to me because otherwise everything I've stood for has become hypocrisy. Become pointless at that point. Yeah. Because there is that um, innate, that's the biggest innate fear that can in some way drives him is that, uh, um,. And that's why medica- meditation is both good and a curse for him because he knows that it's an escape from his re- the reality well, he's creating. And with meditation also comes the issue of are you a good person? Which in this case, he's really not. Oh, yeah, he kn- and he would know and that so he, because he he's this. already oh, regretting and knowing that he doesn't want... Like, it's a dis- belief... It's a it's actions upon belief that it's what's necessary, and so there's always that sort of strife, and it's like interesting to know. Okay, what are the main things I guess as well that keep him to these? Um. Okay, no, this is necessary. What are the things that if he saw 
heaps of things of conflict throughout that entire day that really um, conflicted with who he believes um, he is, what he's doing, all that sort of stuff. Like, what level of... Like, what would it take for him to uh, break or stop his ideals? Just if like anything. every other villain. He is very much insane. He's gone insane from Potentially, having some villains are... Yes, uh, However, some villains uh, aren't, yeah. miles of himself to fight for what's right to his extent. Yeah. Which obviously can not be the best one, but people make mistakes. Yeah, it's just a matter of like how much stuff would be needed for him to go through or to see and stuff like that. What things does he hold to to guarantee his oh yes I'm I can keep to my what I'm my convictions and what are the things that would break his convictions so I guess what what keeps exactly. him to his convictions and what breaks them so, uh, he may not even know them yet but or at least consciously he, he would know some of them subconsciously even he would know some unconsciously for meditating but that's something I'm interested in is the um oh, what yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's an extent in one of these where he has this mental battle and surprise, surprise, he wins. Um, what? <laughs> but he, he kind of puts himself in this situation of is it worth ending this person's life? Mm. If they aren't, you know, what you're thinking of as a good person then you yeah. might end them. If they aren't. And you think, all right, well, if if this person truly is a good person, what would they do in this situation? Yeah. Um, And this kind of comes with a lot of mental issues. Oh, and yeah. And he... <laughs> um, he has this position on it that... If they fight for themselves, they aren't willing to die. They don't want to, and they honestly believe like they deserve to live on this planet. Hmm. And so he fights this struggle of if they're fighting for themselves, if they aren't just like, go ahead, hit me, I don't care, then he will fight for them. And kind yeah. of be like this bodyguard type figure. But to literally half of the heroes, even though they do fight for their lives, they don't fight it in the way that he would prefer. They do not yeah. fight it in the type of way that brings him good person. They fight it in the point of, if this person is going to kill me, then I'm going to kill them first. Yeah. Rather than, I deserve to be on this planet because I'm a good person. And since it's that type of view, he views it as this person clearly deserves to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's constantly this mental struggle of do I kill this person? Do I not? Oftentimes it is a yes because nobody really fights as they should. Hmm. Nobody believes that they belong here because they really, most of them are bad in this area, but not as bad as you would think. Yeah. So if you restate that in a way of how would he act on this specific situation, then mm. you kind of answer yourself. It's a position of would he think that it's right to do? Yeah. Hmm. Has he ever found, like, there's some people he would, like, disagree Are with, but not... Again? Is there ever, like, people that he, you would find that he would disagree with, but not necessarily believe that 
it's a bad disagreement. Is there ever like sort of points or thoughts in his character? He's like, he can respectfully and understand like some difference in whether it be character or person or whoever yeah. it is. So yeah. There is one hero that he has this constant struggle with. Yeah. He, um, this hero's name, um, we'll call him Blue for now because I don't want the name disclosed. No, um, no, makes sense, makes sense. But he treats this specific hero since they've been in a similar situation as him. Um, he treats this hero kind of like a brother. Yeah. He will sort of like a Yasuo Yone sort of... But it's all defensive. Yeah. Rather than offensive. Yeah, yeah. So a fight between brothers and a fight between how someone acted upon how someone's acting upon this a same a similar belief sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That makes sense. I like it. Is there anything in particular, oh, yeah. I guess, voice or like portrayal and actual sort of voice yeah. acting level so, of stuff you want to go over? Voice acting level of stuff, you can do a semi-normal voice, mm. but make it more rough type of thing. Yeah. So I guess there's levels of like... Little raspy yeah. and like old. Yeah, so I guess it's like, is there an age range you can give me? voice because he is not this age at all <laughs> but for yeah. his voice specifically i would say probably around 50 to 60. it's not too old but it's older than him yeah yeah, yeah. because of his mask his voice i guess adapted to this chemical. yeah it's sort of he's got more he sounds like he's got some lung issues he does this chemical <laughs> is not a good chemical for you no <laughs> Warning for all of the audience: Do not, do not ingest this chemical. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there is like this thing in him, mm. and it's reacting to this chemical that he needs the mask to survive, because if he gets too much ox oxygen and takes the mask off, it will cause an explosion with that other chemical that the mouth that the mask is producing. Yeah. And so basically, if he takes the mask off, he literally explodes. Perfect. <laughs> um, goes out with a full-on freaking bang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it happens in this sort of way that you wouldn't expect it. Anyone okay. would try to take his mask off to see his true identity. Maybe they've seen him around town, stuff like that. He tends to be lurking in the shadows, kind of. Yeah. Well, he's someone if who's trying to make a point. So it, 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 he's someone who's trying to make a point. So it only makes sense that his character is someone who would be around and just not noticed yet. Because so he wants will, to make a point. So he wants to you. see the repercussions of his actions, whether bad or good, so he can meditate on it exactly. as well. So I will tell you, I'm going to add kind of this glitchy type of add-in to the voice. Oh, yeah. And this voice distortion, but the gruffness and the kind of, like, old type of voice that I yeah. give them will stay with Makes the one sense. that I'm using. Yeah. And so it will kind of be just your voice, but distorted. Yeah, you want it sort of behind, uh, you want it sort of like there's a voice, but you also want it like behind the mask sort of thing like that. Yeah, because um, because of his stance and like how he stands, how his posture is, his voice has adapted to it along with mm. his, um, along with his kind of like movements. Hmm. So his voice has adapted to it, along with his body. Mm. And this mask 
had that kind of distortion and a glitchy effect to his voice. More hectic. So people tend to think that he's a robot, even though he's not. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense, that makes sense. Yeah. And so, commonly, you will see stuff kind of like people just, like, yelling at him for being a robot. Just... Oh, which hurts him even more because it feels like he's, de like, they're uh, dehumanizing him, it I guess. It feels like he is his servant. Hmm. Also, being and dehumanized he... never feels good for anyone, yeah. Exactly. He, he kind of feels like his servants in the way of being bossed around, being shoved, being put places that you shouldn't be. Yeah. Even though you're just a normal human. And it kind of puts him in this position of him tending to think that he is one. Mm. It has destroyed Well, I guess it sort of would help him... It would help him... Uh, I guess, act out what he wants to do because it allows him to dehumanize himself from his situation, which is what he feels he needs to do so that he can not realize the damage he's causing. Yeah, yeah. So mm. there's that, and... It's also a thing of, will he do this, will he not, will he actually act on what he wants to, Yeah. or will he, you know, decide this person's good enough, I don't care. Yeah. And so then you get to the debate of... Uh, how long will he survive? That's true, that's true. Because he needs a specific chemical. If he runs out of this chemical, then he dies. Yeah. There's no telling how much or how little of this chemical he has. That's true, that's true. Which is good, because uh, having a time limit on the character's motivation is very, very important. Exactly. Yeah. So, it'll basically be put in a way for my audience to understand, because if you put too much in one character, then your audience will be like, what a, What did I just watch? Yeah. And so you have to put it in small portions at a time. Yeah, well, you gotta, you got to use seating, uh, which is very important. Um, but there's also, I guess, you can also sort of like... It doesn't have to be directly said or shown, not told, because it can also be just that simple. Um, here's the same chemical. It's been mentioned offhandedly. Later, the same chemical is mentioned. You see it blows up, and that's enough for people to realize, hey, this chemical can blow up. It's sort of up to them yeah. to make that connection. So this is a little bit of a nod to one of the episodes. Um, we see a flashback. Um... And in said flashback, it shows what happened to his father. Mm. And his father died because of this chemical. Oh, yep, yep. And then he forced it on his son. And since he forced it on his son earlier in life, his, his son's uh, body adapted to it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so now he can't stop taking it, otherwise he'll die. Yeah. But if a single bit of extra oxygen gets into him, he'll explode. Because mm, the balance will be too off. Interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. So he has, <sighs> like, this constant mental battle. Yeah. And, um, I believe there were a couple, uh, comics like this, but it all comes down to if he wants to live anymore. 
Yeah. Because he knows his life sucks. He knows what happened to him. But he doesn't want to die because he wants others to suffer. Mm. But on the contrary... He he actually wants wants that... Yeah, he wants that health and that connection. He What he actually wants is for what to have happened to not have happened. Uh, Exactly. But he can't really go back in time. Yeah. And so he justifies it by hurting rather than healing. Yeah. And so he's constantly in this battle of, do I live today? Mm. And on some occasions, he's kind of hoping he doesn't. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. And then, like, it's a huge mental strain on him. Because it's, do I want to live today? Not will I. Mm. Yeah, it's like, and then there's always that potential he's not even trying to top up his chemicals. Exactly. And if you intake too much, it, it's the same thing as if you intake too much oxygen. Yeah. So you kind of have to be careful with how you release it and how you intake it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, I like it. It's fascinating. Um, yeah. No, I mean, we can always do some practice stuff at some point if you want, whenever you want. Um, how long have I been going on the stream for so far? Um, uh, so, other than tomorrow. Three hours, yep. I can go for uh, a break as well to discuss group? stuff. Uh, generally, it's like whenever it's booked. So, other than... What day is tomorrow? Tomorrow is a Thursday, yeah. Friday, so... Normally for me, uh, it's uh, normally for me it's like individually booked based. Otherwise, it's just like, um, yeah, yeah. Gen- generally, it's better to sort of like book certain days. Like, um, if I was to let's say look at my calendar at the moment, um, we got, um, technically like, uh. Technically, uh, your Friday, my Saturday, I am free. I so far. So far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like unless something pops up, I, I'm I'm free to be booked in in at a certain point. Yeah. Cool. So we can probably works. run your lines those days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or that day. Yeah. Well, I'm also <laughs> happy to on my break um, just like do some just like rough sort of run through so we figure out what we want so I can have a think and work through it and then we can try some stuff then yeah um yeah up to the it's just my thoughts um let me let's go on there yeah so but if that's what you if that's what you'd like then that could work well Doing a, a mixture of it's good to get some of that practice, but also some actual trying, just some slight it's a stuff in practice. It's a little us figuring out what voice yeah, exactly yeah. we want. Yeah, well, that's why. Yeah, yeah. If we, I can always on my break do a little bit of just like while my voice is dead, at least just get some conceptualizing in, and then exactly. Um, today and then on. In two days' time, do a little bit more. But is there a particular time in two days' time so I can, so we can compare time zones because that's probably the most important bit, I guess. So I do not have anything, uh, yeah. planned. So pretty yeah. much any time that you wake up that that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. And so it's, um, since my Friday, your Saturday. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you the time that you normally stream would work. Oh, like yeah. That so that's, I know you're up. Yeah, that's 9.30 for me. In the morning. Yeah, yeah. And then if you just, like, aren't feeling it that day, then we can kind of set it up in a way where it's not so early, but it's mm. also not super late. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Because late day for you is, like, early morning for me. Yes, definitely. So, like, uh, late pay for you is 1 a.m. for me. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, exactly. 
Um, because of the, I don't know, like, it's probably like five. It's probably like if it's 1240 here, 17, it's just 540. So it's like, yeah, is it like, yeah, I always forget what the difference in time is for everyone. Because like some people would probably be like closer to 5 a.m. at the moment. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, I'm happy to try and get something thunked about then. Um, if that's what you'd like, we can try and do that. Yeah. And then later today, uh, well, it's sort of like, how much longer have you got before you're popping off? I guess. Um, before I hop off. Around an hour and 20 minutes, because that's usually the time that I get off of everything. Yeah. So that way I can attempt. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Makes sense, because I can have a tiny bit of an earlier break and then come back, so that way I can I can do a little bit of stuff off, off stream, and then when I come back, it should be, should be able to hopefully have gotten a bit more of an idea of what we want to work towards for it. Yeah. If that's what you want today. Just a tiny bit today and then a tiny bit. And uh for referencing and then actual sort of So that would practice work, stu Yeah, and then some actual reference sort of practice stuff on the next on the in the two day time sort of thing. If that is convenient for you. Um, cause then, yeah, cause that will that work. Cause work. normally, yeah. normally I would probably go for a break in a roughly any, like within the next like an hour to two hours from now, if I would go on a break, but I can always go a little bit earlier and then, um, do the latter half of the stream a bit longer. Um, honestly, it doesn't matter how long you want your break to be or like when you want your break to be, cause I can work out anytime. Yeah, yeah, and that's it. Because it said you are heading off in the next hour or something like that, so that's why it's sort of yeah. like, oh, okay, yeah. If I'd started to take it, uh, if I started to take it now, that then means the latter half of the break, like it's effectively I can have a break while chatting, and then pop back. Yeah, and then like any time that you really need to like step away, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it will at least give a good idea of what we both want, what we both want to adjust and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I like, I, I work very well, like, uh, very much as a, uh, you hear what you want, you hear, and then you just tell me how you want it adjusted very much. Sort of is yeah. sometimes how things, uh, I guess, work best for me. Um. Yeah, I don't know. But. Depends how tired you are too, I guess, as well. I won't be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's fair, that's fair. I did that. I'm going to do that. Uh, also, I like that I've got the monitors going for your, for the, the left side. It's just some, like, rough idea. And I've just slightly designed the actual, just the shapes based off what I can actually see right now. <laughs> Uh, cause, cause at the moment I'm just sketching out positioning. So it, I, I want to test out sketching out where things are so that I can figure out early if something is, um, you know, at the wrong angle, looks wrong, all that sort of stuff before I do any real detail. Um, so I've just got like an OBS off to the right and then, uh, <laughs> and then the, the paint thing off to the left monitor. Obviously the monitors aren't the same. I want monitors that are higher up, but. That's money I don't have just yet. Uh, but. Yeah, and then I'm kind of planning to do something once I have the money for it. Mm. Um, so basically for all of the people who um, are a part of the show, mm. I will... Like, once it takes off and everything, since I figure there will be <laughs> some sort of complaint to this extent, um, mm -hmm. is I will get all of the voice actors the same mic. 
which it will be a really good mic. Uh, okay, I've got a pretty good mic at the moment, so don't don't worry about that. Well, obviously, don't... but in the future, yeah. we'll want everyone to have the same type, so that way people mm. don't get confused on like who's the talking. The main thing is understanding. Well, the main thing is understanding what sort of mic they have to begin with, uh, whether they're using a flat mic or not. Because uh, exactly. I'm using a flat mic, which is why I need more filters naturally, because a flat mic, it has less curves for the higher and lower frequencies. And so it's very good in being designed for uh, being set up for just like customizing with EQ and stuff. Um, and then there's also like, don't get a Blue Yeti. <laughs> That's just like... Just don't. <laughs> it's just like a, it seems to be a cursed thing of people rate them well when, and then people get them. It seems, it's just a trap that everyone falls into, myself included at one stage. Uh, ages ago, yeah. before I started doing anything, but that's a, that's a big no. But yeah, don't, don't put stress in that. Uh, I'd say, yeah, yeah. It's just fun to do this sort of stuff. So no worries. You don't have to worry about any of that. Um, I'm trying to think if that's like that. But, yeah, I'm happy to... What I might do is... yeah. Got any other thoughts or questions or things you'd want to make sure is, like, conveyed and stuff, I guess? About the character? Yeah, or just in general. I guess as well, um... yeah. the character specifically mm. um we are as i said going to have like a slightly distorted voice for him mm. and with this distorted voice comes the struggles of editing yes <laughs> yes well normally i would give a um normally i would try and give a raw audio and then a Noise, noise suppressed slash um, with filters on audio. Um, as in like my normal sort of like for the mic filters, not the... But I can also add up, try and add other effects and stuff for you with bass stuff if I can find stuff. If uh, that helps. It would help if it was like on your end, if you if I could hand you the distortion effect for it. Hmm. Um, I believe that is a thing that I could do. I could probably just hand probably. you the download, and then you can just download it. Yeah, and voice meter, I can slightly distort things anyway. Uh, if, as you've probably occasionally heard in stream, sometimes I just find it funny to play around with it, but I haven't set it up fully. Yeah. Because I can slightly, I can, I can shift what side, if I'm using voice meter, I can shift what side the audio is coming in on, and I can shift like levels of how low the voice is, how high it is, and how much echo. Yeah. Um, and so that one might work. Just because yeah. it's. It is what it is. Yeah, well, that's one of the things where it's like, oh, uh, that's why I'm like happy to have a little bit of an early break because it'll help us figure out more of. Uh, just to do some toying around, just some chill stuff to try and figure out some things for you and just have some fun with it that uh, we might do partially today if you wanted to yeah well, that's what i was thinking like and i'm gonna break today we can do a little bit of just toying around basic stuff and then it and gives then us a good idea when we need to leave with it on uh, two Saturday days for yeah you. Saturday for me yeah and then we, we just, just so keep we going and doing perfect. things until you're happy with it um, but yes, um, happy to, happy to help, Give however. Give one second here. All good. Ooh, there we go. And now, uh, good, all good. At the moment, I'm just trying to make yeah, sure I'm the really angles. I'm really happy to toy around with that uh, voice. 
yeah, 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 whatever, whatever works best and there's a bit of a vibe. How are you liking your little sketch for the corner at the moment when you're uh, next looking at I it? I have not checked it yet. I probably No, all should. good, all good. <laughs> no, no stress, just whenever you feel like it. I'm going to check it right now since I'm waiting for one of my friends to get on. Oh, yeah, to uh, play some games or some. Yeah, since I'm on Valorant right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many, well so, how about, wait for it. F uh, just, um, because once your friend's on, you can pop off and then pop back on once you're finished with the Valorant, and then just let me know, uh, in the, in this oh, disc. No, 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 no. I, I always use chat in Valorant, rather than oh, voice yeah. chat. So oh, I'm yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna stay on the Discord call. Oh, yeah, easy, easy. Yeah, smart. And then just do it that way, since I can multitask Perfect. that way. Since it's oh, yeah. just audio versus visual. Also, Smart. it's looking really cool for the moment. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to set up just that slight little... Just sketching to try and get the proportions. It's slightly off, but I'll figure it out. I'm very good... I'm very bad with um, landscapey sort of perspective stuff. So I tried doing a uh, vanishing point for the first time in ages. So And it's helped a bit, but now I'm still trying to like... It's been, it's been good practice <laughs> trying to make sure I get perspective right. Because there, I need to yeah. fix up a lot. The little, the in the little long sort of tunnely bit. Um, but is um, it's also I I really find it cool how um since Hanza. Is yeah. like literally my fiftieth follower, and yeah. they totally have bragging rights about that now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they like, If you look at it on screen, you can see where you marked it, and it's like right next. Oh, yeah, yeah, because that's gonna be a little. That's gonna be a chessboard. Um, it's gonna be a chessboard. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a little chessboard on a table, and two people be on this chair here. So it'll be hands are. Talking with someone while playing chess is my thought. Either chess or go. I want to play. Some, I want to play go with friends, but one, I'm dumb, and two, I don't know if there's a good online thing for go, and three, I don't know who would want to play go with me. Learn go with me. Um, have you heard of go? Uh, I have not. So it's uh Japanese. It's like uh, I think technically the longer, more Japanese name would be eagle. Um, but it is like a, it's like Chinese checkers mixed with chess and you might see it in some anime and some other things. And what it is, is you have a uh, little effectively flat glass round marbly things, black ones and white ones. Um, and you take turns placing a piece and if your Wait, piece, yeah. And if your piece gets surrounded by the other color, it flips. And you're trying to get rid of all the other colored pieces by doing that. I have literally played that game before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's How just everyone forget recognize? everyone. Well, everyone forgets what it's called. Uh, okay, and it took me fair. forever to figure out what it was game. called. And then once I figured it out, I was like, "Oh, that's so cool!" So I definitely want to play that at one stage. And I told told Hansa um, if they ever do a go sort of stream to let me know because I want to learn it. Um. Yeah, no, I was taught that game in the past. Oh, wow, cool, cool. Yeah, I, I, like, I'm... It's weird, there's... I'm very good at board games naturally with a lot of things, but there's certain types of games I'm bad with, and that's card games and... um, Those... These stereotypical sort of five-move-ahead sort of uh, games. <laughs> my brain not... My brain no work yet does very well. <laughs> but... I love it. It's uh, like it's sort of how I like uh, mahjong, but I'm awful at it. Dude, mahjong is so fun. Yeah, I want to do a fun like mahjong stream or something like that. But I know that's gonna be one, that's one of those streams that's like would be very prone to backseating if I had an audience. <laughs> so it's it's like, huh? I got to do this uh, before anyone I play it with has an audience, <laughs> so I can enjoy it without knowing that they'll be backseating. Um, so Valorant stuff. Yeah, yeah I am yeah. getting 
really good with an alt. Hell yeah. How's that going And I for know you? this because I, I got four kills last game. Oh, and sick. And because, like, I got four kills with an op last Ooh, game. Ooh, that's terrifying. <laughs> it's just everyone was terrified me, of me because yeah. someone else stole my sage, and so I was omen. Yeah. On Haven. Oh, no. With an op, just peeking corners, and then oh, immediately... Oh, it's cursed. I love that. And it's terrifying because every time you have a uh, corner, you yeah. have to check it for the omen peaking with a freaking op. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 100% terrifying. And it's even more scary with Sage because they can <laughs> their teammates. And then yeah. you come in contact with this like terrifying trait of just constantly being afraid of corners. That's the way it should be. <laughs> Exactly. I love that. Oh, that's really good. Yes, I'm glad. I'm glad. I need to play that again more. I just need to be wary of my hands, especially if I'm doing art at the same time. Also getting really well with. Uh, I'm also getting really good with uh, crit scoping. Oh, well done, well done. So as fast as the gun opens, I shoot. Yeah, yeah. You've you've learnt to the timing of the gun very well. Smart. So it's that quick. Crouch just in case they in, in case they see you, then you just crouch fire. Just yes. Just kind of open the scope. Hell yeah! No, oh, well done. That's sick. Or you just keep corners the entire game. Which yeah. Is a cheap way of doing it, but I still do it. So. Uh, if it works, I can't it really works. Say yeah. Um, have you tried to make a strikers yet? You should. It's pretty fun. Do you like air hockey? I love air, air hockey. Uh, it's an air hockey 3v3 MOBA. Interesting. And it's very new, and it's been very, very, very good so far. Uh, and they're updating it heaps and heaps and heaps. So I've been vibing a lot with that recently. Generally with, like, Haj and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so 100% would recommend that, um, uh, recommend giving that a go, because that, yeah, no, that's, that's real fun, um, might test it out soon, yeah, it's free, because uh, it's a MOBA, yeah, and it's effectively just like, yeah, it, and because uh, it is a free MOBA, it definitely, well, a MOBA and it's free, it helps a lot, and it's effectively, you've got four abilities, left click, right click, uh, left click, right click, space, and R. Your left click is effectively you're passing the puck. Effectively, it's just three people uh, on a field with abilities, and you're also sort of like passing the. Uh, you're sort of like it's sort of like indoor soccer mixed with air hockey, but because it's MOBA, it's got like abilities That's and stuff like that. An interesting take. It's really cool. It's sort of like a top-down-ish view. It's like a, a, a semi-top-down. I don't know the actual photography term. It's been too long since I've studied photography. Um, but it's sort of... It's that... I guess uh, almost like a third-person top-down, if you know what I mean. It's that yeah. not directly top-down. You're looking at them from like a... Uh, little... Uh, uh, little uh, more like a... 75 degree angle sort of thing i guess um so and it's just a small map yeah i play that a bit whenever i can um and obviously if you've got a queue of three people it's good it's very easy to get into games uh normally if i can't get into games in oce i play on na and i'm like okay i may have 200 ping but at least i'm getting into games because it is pretty new (laughs) but it's fun so it's effectively it's a goalie and to I'm uh, mid and a forward effectively, but it's like two forwards, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, and you're not restricted to definitely being in the goals, and you got all your got all your abilities and everything. I love I, I love it a lot. Uh, I think one of my favorites is Juno, uh, not only because it's just a wholesome bean, but also because she's just this uh, blob support. So her whole thing is that she like jumps around and chucks bl- like little blobs on the field and if you happen to pass the puck into one of those 
it goes in the direction of that team's Juno. So if you have if you if Juno's on your team, you can sort of pass a shot onto Blob and it can help score. But if they're on the enemy team, say if you're a goalie and you accidentally hit it into the Blob, it can sort of just it'll just come back at you. Um, and there's a lot of things like, okay, you're trying to knock some champions are bruises, so they're trying to knock people off the map because you can either knock them off the sides or, or off into the goal. <laughs> so it's as if, um, I don't know, I, I'm presuming you would call it the same in America potentially, but you know, foosball, the foosball, the, the little, the little game of little, it's effectively soccer where you would spin the things on the side. Might. Yeah, effectively, it feels like like indoor soccer mixed with um, I guess mixed with a MOBA things mixed with um, obviously mixed with air hockey because uh, you've got those abilities, but you're all sort of a team of three that are passing to score goals, first to five goals wins. Um, speaking of which, I'm just yeah, so I'm just I might uh, try that. yeah, give that a download I might if you want. Try it tomorrow when we oh, hang awesome. Out. Yeah, awesome. Give me one second. I'm taking getting. A Wait, have you mu have you muted me on stream? Because because if if everyone could hear me on stream, that would be absolutely hilarious because of my reaction to what you're saying. I'm going to pet your. I'm gonna pet your Pando, your virtual cat. And, uh, yes. Um. No. Yeah. If you get that. Uh, I mean, I can play a little bit of that now because I might need to give myself a slight break and then of from this briefly and then I can, we can. Uh, I'll do a bit of that and then do an actual break probably and that'll be good time for us to do any chit chatters if you want but yeah it shouldn't be it's a pretty um pretty quick download uh it's pretty fun I definitely enjoy it um hopefully you do but if you don't that's also all right uh, I don't know if you're still here. Presuming you are. I now am. that I'm back. Sorry, Easy. I was focusing on typing. No, no, I'm good. I was just triple checking. I'm like, oh, okay, uh, Now, I do want to... Do, 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 do. Now, this bottom bit here is where I'll probably put the starting soon thing. Um... Ruler. I mean, I guess I can just. Do -do 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 -do. Um, but yeah, your character is really, really cool. Yeah, no, I definitely have been enjoying hearing about him and just sort of getting to effectively getting to know the character. Um, because the more you sort of get to know the character, the more you can put yourself in their shoes, and thus the more you can be them. In that sense, I guess. Um, um, so yeah, I'm definitely really looking forward to it. You made a made a very interesting and fun uh, villain. Hopefully, I can do it justice for you. Hopefully, my jaw issues won't bugger it up. Um, um, it most likely won't. Considering hell yeah. all I have anything close to animated. So far is the uh trailer because i have the <laughs> episodes for the shows done mm -hmm. like for 
the show's written. Written perspective, yeah. And I have yeah. the trailer script written and typed up. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that stuff takes time, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so I have, like, the first nine episodes-ish type. Oh, yeah. Which is too many pages. You don't even want to know. Oh, I, oh, oh I'm... You will see I've done DM, when... I've done DMing. I've done heaps of other stuff. I've done some story writing. I, yeah, that shit's gonna uh, that's gonna that's gonna be a lot. So far, I have hit two hundred and around ninety pages. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, so close to two ninety to um. Mm. Uh, so it's 290 um, potentially I can't remember oh yeah uh, um, but it's around 300 and something ooh okay and if I had to estimate it um, if I had to estimate it probably around Three fifty-eight. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're doing like a, a flat thirty FPS, or you're like switching between, or. No, 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 not, not thirty FPS. It has to be sixty or higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was curious, but some people, it depends for certain effects. You might switch to thirty. You might go back. So I was curious. So I'm not, I'm not doing 30. I'm doing 60 or higher. So I'm debating 80 FPS. Uh, you don't um, really need more than 80, do you? And I mean, no, you don't no, need no, more than 60, more than do you? But more than 60, possibly, because of all the fight scenes. Yeah, but don't, like, like sometimes you do fight scenes, like, for dramatic effects, you can do it as, like, can't remember the exact terms, isn't it? Like, like you can drop it down for impact frames, and you can drop it up for impact. I can't remember well enough though. Also, uh, on some yeah. occasions, on some occasions, it, the frame rate will probably be lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not most. That's fair. That's fair. Like, yeah. With those things, with the occasions that need that much FPS, there will be that much FPS. Yeah. Let me know if you need help with any of the uh, any other side of things as well, besides from VA stuff. Happy to help, however, to help you out. Um, is this? Where does this go? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If we wanted to see that like that. <laughs> Hold on, let me just well, change the back. I will ask for help if I need it. Yeah. But drawing the frames by hand is just going to be annoying anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no, that makes sense, 100%. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where is that open layer? There it is. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But yeah, there's like if you need help with like even just some basic stuff, you just feel free to let me know and I'll I'll try. <laughs> you may need some help for like drawing some aspects of your character. Oh yeah, yeah. Rather yeah. than your actual character. Yeah, some more just like raw bits and stuff like that. Easy. It's, there's that, and there's some just like extra accessories and stuff that you might need. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, perfect. Happy to help you. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Okay, so with the brown background, that'll at least let me see the highlights a bit better. It's starting to be a little bit neater. Coming together a tiny bit more. I think what I need to do, though, is I need to clarify...
Where have I been working? I guess in here. Uh, let's just add a new layer. Why not? More layers are better even if it is a sketch. Do, do, um, but do. yeah, the frame rate will definitely change on occasion. Yeah. That makes Based sense. on like how the fights differ from each other. Yeah, based uh, on the type of impacts and stuff. More, like, let's say dramatic effects. Yeah. Right? The frame rate, the frame rate's gonna be a little lower. <laughs> Just since it's for such an impractical thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it were like a legitimate fight that needs to be shown, then yeah. the frame rate would be higher since it has to look way cooler. Yeah. No, oh, it makes sense. Um, oh. <coughs> ah, sneeze. That's you. Thank you. No. One bit I'm unsure about right here is I'm not too sure whether I want this to be a flat sort of... Oh, I do still need... Yeah, I can't have it as a window because, yeah, I'm going to have the chat there for the starting scene thing. Yeah. Because I was just trying to think and then I remembered right, so my own thought. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah. Because I was just trying to think for my own sort of, I guess, thing and then I remembered... Oh, wait, no, never mind. I've... <laughs> the chat's gonna be there almost like a one of those like almost Tony Stark's or pop up things. Uh, let's see, because that will be like so. We got some random tree. I'll have to cut the tree once it's finished and separate it from the layers because then that way, um, I can like I can have it in front of the chat because if I just have it like this, chat will go over the top of it. So I'll need to, once I draw the actual thing, <laughs> separate the tree from the actual layers. But I'm still trying to think exactly, like, where I want everything. So I know I've got the pipe and I've got the nice little door there. Um, Just trying to think, do I want a nice little pillar here or here? I guess maybe here. Because that's going to come in like that. That's coming in like that. I did this. Hmm. Hey, Trying to think of what I can do in this spot here. I need to look at some references and stuff, probably. Anyways, it's looking really good so far. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am sort of happy with it. I need a. Figure out a few more logistical bits, I think. But it's at least, yeah, it's at least coming together strongly enough that I can visualize it more. Because I just need a stronger sense of cohesion and design. Like, I do want it to be very. It's like that mixture between the themes of like the Norse rune sort of the volcanic theme and the steampunky theme. Um. So, I'm tempted. I could probably have this as a bit like an airship, maybe. I'm just, like, I'm I'm tempted between, is this going to be in the sky? Um, is this going to be 
underwater. Is this gonna be somewhere else? It's like, don't know yet. I'm, I'm thinking sky. Oh, how's you sneaky fucker? You sneaky fucker. Come here, do that fucking knocking on me fucking door, fucking doing this, doing that, fucking always knocking on me fucking door. <laughs> Come in. Um, beep, boop, boop, ba da ba beep, knock, 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 who's hey, there? Said that you, I think yesterday or something, you said that this was a spaceship? Yeah, I'm thinking of something like that. I'm not too sure, but space isn't exactly a strong theme that my, especially not my model. So, I'm, yeah, so I'm still trying to debate exactly what I want from it theme wise. Um, obviously, the steampunk stuff still. But sort of like that Kim Tinky stuff, probably. I don't know. I'm getting a bit scratchy, I can see. So I do like the idea of having the, the link thing. And you return again. Hello, Harsh. Do you want to join chat or are you just vibing? And how are you going? How is Fallout going for you? Um, but we go. Linky, stinky. And did you want to play some Omega? I might play some Omega in a second if I can get into a match. Give me old Anne's a break. Give the fingies a break. You're probably going to head to bed. That makes sense. <laughs> you get some of that good sleep. If you wake up in a bit, you will. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. It makes sense. I have to think of what colors I want for some areas. Um, insomnia do be like that. It do. Insomnia do what insomnia do. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think of the drone so far, Harsh? Do you like your? Do you like that you're popping out of the the unfinished cardboard box? <laughs> this is more of a personal opinion, mm -hmm, but you mm -hmm. make everything look like really shiny. Yeah. <laughs> because I do. of all the scribbles, they don't look like scribbles. They look like shiny bits. Yeah, some of them is shiny. Oh, I like I like scribbling between different sort of like color contrasty bits, so it looks like shiny bits. But then I'm very bad at turning sketchy scratchiness into cleanness, and then return the shine. Um, because I like I I really like that sort of clean art, but that's the style that I just can't manage. I I can do lighting, I can do sketchy scribbly, but light is not my uh, I mean, well, fine, yeah, like sort of clean art is not my forte yet. I'll say yet because I don't want to have the mental attitude of never, because that always makes things worse. Um, but I still want to figure out what I'm doing with this like runicky thing. Uh, I know I've got like little lightningy zip zaps here, little fucking Tesla coils. I kind of, I, I always love the, hearing that Crash Bandicoot, the fucking. The villain dude, fucking Cortex, whatever his name is, I always, always forget how he sounds until I hear it. And then I'm like, oh, yes, that's how he sounds. Yeah. Um, Neocortex Neo or whatever. Um, oh, now I can, if I re-added, hiding in the corner, I see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -na 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 -na. I can go back up to the blueprinty layer. I'm happy I made that blueprint layer. It's working pretty well. making everything very easy because that's actually each it's a 16 by 9 square system that i set up <laughs> earlier i think it was like on here when we were first conceptualizing yeah <laughs> that took a hot second to do but now that means i know that the ratio of it will be correct but yeah yeah easy easy all right so it chips in with that i don't know if i want that um because if that goes like that, that doesn't make sense. It might make more sense for this. What if this is more like... Uh, 
There we go. Back. Welcome back. Thank you. Um, yeah, because I know at the very least I want to put like some like lava or something as like the fuel for in these little bits. Have it like sort of occasionally show up in little bits and bobs because it sort of adds that sort of magic uh, mechanical sort of steampunk thing but it also keeps the volcanic theme because it's like lava powered or whatever yeah. um especially with my character oh someone took my sage oh no and so now i'm being omen okay <laughs> it's operator time i can <laughs> right um i can now do cool things including teleporting yeah, across yeah. the freaking map if I want to. Do it. They just the do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> do it. I am the Senate. Do it. Meh. Do a fucking barrel roll. Meh. I love his little spin his little spin moment. I didn't even figure out if that, yeah, that feels. Hey, I got, cool. I, I got the icebox map, right? Yeah. And when you get close to the screens, I just realized this. When you get close to the screens, mm. it actually changes to the red and green. Oh, that's cool. Like red, blue, and green. That's really cool. Right. Yeah, yeah. I love the attention to detail. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Riot's always been very good at, like, little bits of detail like that. Um, I'm still trying to think exactly where I can put everyone. Boomst. Boomst, boomst, boomst. Yeah, Riot is really good about that, though. Yeah, I'm really interested in seeing how they're... I'm pretty sure because of the fighting game and MMORPG that they're making. Really interested to see how that goes. Because we already know how good their world building is. So you can I'm only sort of imagine it. For... Yeah. I'm so excited for my trailer to be done. Oh, yeah, that'll be so good. I'm looking forward to that as well. Because once it is done... I'm gonna run it on my channel. Yeah, and I'll run it here for you if you want. And then, heck yeah. Um. And then we can run it on our channels. Yeah. And then it would be really cool. Oh yeah. And also make I sure there is the self promo thing where you can, because uh, the self promo bit you can always you can always put it in there once it's Yeet. out as well. Yeah. And then. And then the trailer, I'm really debating for people who don't know me as my Twitch name. Okay, I'm yeah. seriously debating just putting my name on there. Yeah, that makes sense. Because for the people who are unknowing, and just straight up do not know my Twitch name, do not know anything about me, it would be better for them. Potentially, yeah, yeah. Couldn't always do have like a, a channel intro thing as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because there's, there's always, like, if you really don't want to, there's always, like, solutions like that where you can have, like, a bit of a... Because you, you get to and make I'm a gonna, channel trailer and stuff like that. And, yeah. I'm going to have, like, a whole celebration thing. Cause it's the project that actually came to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, definitely. And, yeah, and no, it's really cool that it's actually coming to life and it's all working its way th um towards sort of, like... Yeah, yeah, no, I'm really liking that and really happy that all your little, your passion project and stuff are 
um, coming together for you. Yeah. Yeah. Is this going to be a multi-season thing, you think? I've already... Uh, oh, of course. It has to be to explain all of the stories of everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Each season is going to have basically another main person. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Coda says and the big hype. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Nah, it'll be, it'll be really so good. Each season represents a different character type of thing. Yeah, okay. And so it basically explains it in a way to where everyone can understand. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like, this person is the main person of this season. And yeah. It basically runs season wise. That makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Did you need any maps or anything? What did you say? Did you need any maps or anything? There might be. Easy. I haven't done map making in ages, but still happy to. I love doing map making. It's been a hot minute. There might be need for you to make a map. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. And so. The point where I don't know if I will need one. Yeah, 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 makes sense. It's, it's like if you decide you like need like a world or region map or something. Different. Yeah. Ah, no, no, Teresa, that lad. That's not what I wanted. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Yeah, oh, and I know, oh, and I know, boom, 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 Like, it would be such a cool extra touch to have a map for it. Yeah, if you want, like, a world map and stuff, like, one thing... I really like in like at the very least like web comics and stuff is when um the groups all split up and stuff like that and then or even just in books and then like in a chapter the chapter or next book it sort of shows where they are just with a map briefly. Yeah. So it's gonna But I'm not well, too sure yet yeah, I'd be thing, I'm yeah. planning on. If we do the map thing, it's a matter of how I'll show it. Yes, the yeah, exactly. I was thinking the exact reason. same thing. Uh, it would be interesting to see if there are other, like, uh, visual, like, sort of animation media that have done something similar to see how they went about it and what worked, what didn't. Yeah, and basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom into the map, and it will yeah. kind of show the characters running or, or doing whatever, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's also going to be an aspect of it of like a cooking aspect and so every like couple episodes there will be a filler episode and the filler episodes are cooking episodes <laughs> Love that. these uh safe like recipes for me since i have a ton of allergies yeah that's cute and so it will kind of be interpreting or including both the uh the cooking side of me and the animating side of me. That's cool. And yeah, what you could do if you wanted is a bit like how like some anime, they have like podcasts where they are the characters for like explaining afterwards. So it could also be like you invite guests on to your cooking episode fillers and they have to play their character. Sorry, game got really loud. What did you... I was saying you could also do those filler cooking streams a bit like how like anime do their like when they have like their live Japanese like, sort of like podcast things, but they talk in their character still. Um, yeah. and you could sort of just like have guests of like, but they're actually just like, they, they're playing the characters from the show and like, they're just like some person might break a set or some, um, break some cooking things or something like that. Okay, so that's actually going to be a planned episode. <laughs> is... I so you know how every one of my heroes has a pet, right? Mm -mm -mm. Every single one of them has a pet or familiar of some kind. Mm-mm. So these pets help them cook, 
and then when like oil puffs and stuff and like hits the animals they freak oh, no. out and like crack everything yeah 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 yeah. So i love it that shows, it shows the funny sides of it and then it also shows like the cooking serious parts of it yeah that's cool it's a good idea my piano teacher came up with that idea oh that's cool that's really cool yeah. supportive and i mean like all well, just people around you are helping out with that because this is a really cool project so i'm really glad it's sort of I coming know. together for you and now i can finally have a credit scene more than <laughs> a singular second <laughs> <laughs> yes not so cool it would be the shortest i was gonna have like literally the shortest credit scene ever yeah because the credits of that show were literally my name and that was it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, it was the simplest black screen my name and then it <laughs> straight straight into the episode yeah no that's really cool it's really cool how it's coming together um if there's any way i can help with any of it i'm always always happy to uh yeah no that's i appreciate you letting me join your fun little journey i will let you know any way i need help ever <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah that's uh, yeah i really hope your project pops off for you You've got a lot of passion Thank behind you. it, so it, no, it's it's really cool to see. Uh, um, so any other spots I can? I guess in these spots in here. Yeah, nah, it's, it's, it's real cool. And what I might do is yep. I might... Uh, hmm. Uh, it, it also reminds me a bit of like a fallout shelter this little designy thing here i like it yeah or like a sort of tech one like a yeah one well, a sort of like a spy base sort of thing yeah let's see what if i if i Ooh. now um should Let's see. Do I have any of my D and D maps still alive? Probably. Um. Yeah, a lot of older ones that I would improve, but you know, a lot of unfinished ones, as per most of my art. Um. Where is it? Very possible. Uh, that was um, sad. <laughs> what was? What was? So someone told me wait for me to fully teleport. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Took my head. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh no. And so I I teleport and I can't see this right because they're ducking. <laughs> and then the, and then the second that they stop ducking, they yeah. aim up with an operator and shoot me in the head. Oh no, no, <laughs> rip, <laughs> mm, rough, <laughs> the darkest yeah. timeline, um, I wonder, uh, is this, it's probably not my most updated one, it's just one, well, the first one I can find, um, of a world map, I have like 500 images, so trying to find them is, <laughs> taking a second um because i broke it down individually and it was unfinished but it was sort of just like there if i remember let's have a look just while i'm opening yeah yeah this is by main D, D world 
Um, so I need to go back to actually finishing this off. And then, yeah. I need to add yeah, a bunch of roads and stuff. A lot of it is, this was like one of the unfinished ones. I still don't remember where I put all my other stuff. But, uh, if I remember, I can also open up. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, there was a close up of one part of the world. Yeah. Because that's where some of where the players were playing at one stage. And then. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, there we go. It was just a draft because I didn't have the. I couldn't, couldn't be stuffed to finish it off. Because <laughs> normally I would just. Yeah, because this was the one of the one of the drafts. I've got a bunch of old drafts, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, no, nah, I haven't made done map making in ages. I probably should. I recommend it. It can be quite. Yeah, it takes a it takes a long. It's pretty fun. Hmm. Every single person on their team has an op. Rough. It's one of those days, is it? It is. <laughs> like, oh well, the other game. Rip. And then I just get three shot by a singular Ooh. operator. Disgusting. No, no, no. I mean, singular death. <laughs> three shots from three different operators. Oh just no. Coming together and murdering me. <laughs> Rough. I'm Odin-ing them. Do it. Do it. Odin for an Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the map aspect of it will be really, really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Let me know when you finish your map. Uh, exactly where they are. And yeah. The name of it, and then it will show. Like, yeah. All of the other stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let me know when you've finished your uh, match, and I'll show you just a draft. Because I, I can't find my actual proper ones, but I can show you a draft of uh, my D and D world map. Sure. I will tell you when I am done with the match. Easy, easy.
Oh, another phone call. <laughs> Hello? Uh, who is this? Give me one second. I'm back. Back straight is back. All right. Do 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 do. do. There we go. I'm back. Um. Let's see. How's your match going? You winning? You bopping with the open? Or are you dying? Ba 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 ba. Okay, I can probably check it now, since this uh, match easy. is going so <laughs> Easy, easy. Are you just showing it on stream? Oh okay. yeah, I will be, I will be, yeah, yeah. You just let me know when you're good. Um, let's save this. And then, um, for the sake of because of the hat. delay. How was your day today? Ah, uh, it was alright. It's still going. Uh, <laughs> it's not too bad, not too much pain. Woke up a bit late, but not as bad as the past few days. Still recovering from COVID. Ah, uh, yeah. But on an inhaler at the moment, so hopefully it gets better. Um... Other than that, you know, okay. Uh, just a bit sore, I think. Once I have my break, I'll do a bit of stretching, walk around and stuff, and maybe do some housework, but... Um, enjoying doing some art, and it's been, it's, it's been real fun. So, a pretty good day so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's been going alright so far. Not too dead. Feeling a bit... A bit better now. Oh, not... Who did? Oh, um, yeah. Still a little dead, but... Yeah. Dead. Yeah. Uh, so, you'll notice that if you listen to, like, me speaking constantly, you'll notice I have a wheeze going on. Mm. Yeah, still needs uh, a bit of recovery, yeah. Yeah. And then I'm still limping everywhere. Uh, sorry to hear that. Don't be honestly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I am still really excited to see like everyone's reactions to it. Yeah. Cause I'm the sure day though. after, um, the day after, I am done with the trailer, which mm. will most likely be a Sunday, considering oh, cool. it's like the day that I have the least work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm like I. Pretty much just get to chill and draw. Um, yeah. It just makes it loads easier. Ah, oh, 100%. And so, if if it happens to be a Sunday, the, a, the day after, I will be showing, like, everyone at school. Hell yeah. Since I, I, since I do it all on my phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll show everyone from my phone on school. That's so cool, yeah, yeah. And props to you for being able to do what you're doing on your phone as well. That isn't easy. But yeah, I'll be able to show like everyone at school. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome. Because our... Um... The person who basically runs the um I don't want to say security because it's not really, but like the person who basically just watches the door all day. Yeah. Uh I would say like closer to secretary. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Like not exact, you know? Yeah. Um and, like, obviously, it's not exact. It's not anything else, really. Yeah. It just kind of is what it is. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. This is what it is, yeah. He was, like, super excited. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. When I told her about the uh, project. And oh then, yeah, sick. Um, when I told her that I was doing it, she was like, "You would draw those?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a really funny interaction. Yeah. Um, so cool. It's, it's always super great to see people's flabbergasted, freaking faces. Yeah. And they're like, "You drew that?" Yeah, that's really <laughs> wholesome. <laughs> that's that's always nice. Oh, that's so good. Uh, no yeah. one expects me to be able to draw anything <laughs> that great. If you saw my drawings on paper, they do not look good. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, well, everyone has their own medium that they prefer as well, too, like, their artists. Like, you know, a five-year-old's drawing. Yeah. Uh, and because of this, people are really surprised to see my digital work. Yeah. Oh, I prefer, and it yeah. All comes down to how far I can zoom it. Oh, yeah. Well, it makes sense. You sort of. And also, like, everyone prefers their own medium. Like, I prefer how paint sort of looks, but I prefer how pens feel. And that's why I like digital art. Because I yeah. like being able to give the paint feel and aesthetic while only having a singular bristle. In that roundabout way. Because I always found that was really difficult. Um, like I did some like pen, uh, like pencil sort of stuff in school, but I mean, I, I, I preferred clay mainly, but I definitely really love the, uh, digital art stuff, but I sort of hope yeah. that I can eventually get some more neat stuff because I'm slowly trying to get back into practice because I hadn't done it in forever. So I'm trying to get back into practice of actually <laughs> doing it and being half decent at it. Hopefully. And then aspiring to hopefully get to the point where I can actually do, like, different styles of art that I wanted to do, like, um, more like blind arty anime stuff. 
because I'm good at sketchy art or sort of oil painty realism-y. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Let me know when you want me to switch it over and I can switch it over for you. Anytime works. I pulled up my phone so that way I can just check it whenever I want to. Easy. So it's just some basic old sketchy sort of stuff. But I've got like... Uh, that's the world map. It's nowhere near finished. I lost a lot of the finished stuff, and like a lot of the finished stuff wouldn't fit on this size, so I broke it up into like fifty odd pieces. But Whoa. that's that's like the just the basic. Uh, and I think the campaign that I'd started and we didn't really get to be able to finish was focused in uh, the this continent um, and sort of along this sort of area. And those little blue lines are like ship paths and stuff. Then that's more just that singular area with some more like focused things. That was more for like some of the players. I had even more detailed stuff for individual players based on their backstory, where they went and stuff, little things people had seen. Um, but that's yeah, sort of this is this is like a little interesting thing about the show. Yeah. Um, it's going to show these maps. Yeah. It's gonna show them in like someone's room, type of thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that'd be cool, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. Definitely, you get this sort of style map, and then you just sort of, like, draw it onto a uh, wall sort of thing. Because in theory, you could sort of do something, like, effectively, if it was, like, a... Um, like sort of something like that, and then... Tapestry S border, and then you got, like, the whole... All continents and stuff like that. Yeah, and you'd have all that sort of stuff, and... Nah. I get that. But yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. I miss, miss doing map building. Um, was there any other ones that I hadn't... I liked, I hadn't looked at in ages? Um, or at least hadn't really... Uh, where are they? Because everything's everywhere. Um... Now we got, uh, maybe in here. Yeah, because I did, there's like some older ones I had. I think this was an old, a really old, like little campfire area I did ages ago, years ago. Um, and then we have like, oh yeah, I think, I think this is it for a hilarious like one shot. A gnome, sweet gnome. That was just some basic, really, really, like, quick thing. And there wasn't any much detail to it, but it was just some basic... <laughs> just some hilarious little basic sort of gnome, sweet home, gnome, sweet gnome. Nice little one shot I did ages, ages ago. Um... Uh, do, 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 do. What am I looking for? There's a whole bunch of things I did. Most of my maps were, like, unfinished ones as well. Or just tests. Like, what was this? This was a... Yeah, just a test of just some things ages ago. Um, nothing really, really finished. I love map making. It's, it's great fun. I haven't done it in so long. Um, I think... What else was that? I think... I remember. At one stage, yeah, there was, like, heaps of other worlds and stuff like that I had. Uh, this is one of my friend's ones that I hadn't, I didn't finish mainly because I just didn't get around to it and the information they gave made it a bit limited for me based off the scale and my own skill level at the time. How many years old is this? Oh, years, years and years. But just some basic sort of, yeah, no, even right now I'm just like, mm, there's a lot I would have changed. But that was their map that I wanted to do for them and, but... A lot I would have changed. What was that? Oh, yeah, just some basic, like, different style of one that I was trying at one stage. Um, what other stuff? There's heaps of stuff I've done. Um, 
what was this one? Oh yeah, different like different continent. Someone asked for all that I didn't finish, but just got some basics down. Uh, so you can see it's definitely none of it's finished. But I was just trying to figure out learning, doing some swamp and basic sandy stuff. Um, I think. Yeah, and what was this? This is a. Yeah, yeah. This was a. I sort of got a map. A city map and then put it onto like some old fake pa uh, paper and sort of did that for like a like an old burnt out city map there's like a whole bunch of things it's been so long a rusty one um yeah no it's definitely it's definitely fun when i got around to it <laughs> quite often i forgot but to actually even get around to it but was there any other really fun things I did? Um, oh, I do think I remember. Oh, yeah, there was a Christmas one-shot one. Just a really, really quick, very, very quick one I did. It was just a battle map, and that was hilarious. But, yeah. I'm happy how this is going so far. Um, there's sort of three it more main really spots. So yeah, I'm happy how it's coming across. Three more main spots, I guess. Um, uh, someone's sitting by that little generatory thing. Someone's staring out at the open air or sky or whatever. Um, and then someone else sitting on the couch. Uh, Lucky potentially, or someone else depends who nabs it. That's my my suspicion is Lucky will. Um, little kitchen area here, but I'm happy how that's going. Might even just for now. Uh, PNG. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, uh, start soon. Draft day two. Easy. I'll just say I'll say that that's that for today for this. Oh, don't get here fucking freezing me. Day two's working, the canvas is working. Okay, so I think I can probably save this as well. Yeah. So I might might have a break and then do some games or something afterwards, see who's around and stuff, but what I'll do is I'll switch over to the chat and the good old chatty chat and then Google if you want we can do any other stuffles while I rumble around and have a break but for everyone else um, that would be great yeah we on else though uh, thank you for popping by i'll be back in a bit i won't do the 50 minute timer because i know it'll take longer than that but i'll put the timer on once i know how long away it'll be um otherwise see you at some point uh get drinks look do what you need to do and I'll hopefully be able to run enough ads during a break so that when people watch, they don't have to see ads annoyingly pop up. Um, there's a new guest star thing they added for affiliates, which is cool. I think it's like a weaker version of the partner sort of like stream squad. You can like add guests on. Um, it'll be interesting. I don't know exactly how it works, but it's, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. But yeah, I will be back at some point. Let's turn off the timer because I don't know how long it'll be. Uh, but you...
Ah, Savannah. Blah, 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 blah. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, we are back. A bit of a longer break, but you know, keep an eye out for it. Should be fun, should be fun, should be fun. Ha! Oh, yes, I'll lift the green screen up in a bit. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Yes. So. So. We did some really fun art, and I'm liking how it's going. It's going pretty fucking well. I will give it that. Um, still very drafty, sketchy, back and dodgy, <laughs> but I am happy how it's going. Um, I mean, technically, if anything, I can sort of just be like, um, if anything, I could sort of just like plop it on screen to give me two seconds. Then I can do the thing. Oh. Do 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 do. Now let me, let me do the thing. You know the thing. The thing that we all think of. The thing. Now this is the. Ah, oh, it's so big. I know. I know. Crazy. 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 But yes, this, uh, get out of my face, uh, bitch, <laughs> this is what we were working on earlier. Yes, so this is what we are working on earlier. Um, still needs a lot more work to do, you know, you still gotta, still gotta give it a good old, oh, oh, oh. yeah, you sort of gotta, sort of gotta grab it by the ball. Nah, so we can sort of see, yeah, there's a bit more to work on it if I went. Ah, yeah, you can sort of, yeah, there's a bit there, there's a bit there. Um, we got the blink going okay. We got ourselves, what else is there? A nice little couch with a chest set, a uh, little kitchen area. It was going to be a bath, but I thought, I like, I thought it was like nice as a little kitchen area. Tree thing, a little cardboard box. I started getting a little, some of the mechanics, the blimp, some people standing on the balcony. The little room def defined a tiny bit more. It's still, it's still been figured out, and there's still three more spots, I think, unless we find another spot for people, which is always possible. But that's going okay, I think. Remember, what we could do, technically, I've got an idea. I know, crazy, isn't it? Ah. Uh -huh. Where the fuck did I put that? Hold on. Don't put that in there, you silly tit. There we go. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. But yeah, so that 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 worked well. That was going okay. Um, yeah. So I think now it's time to play some games. Don't want to burn myself out too much. That's all right. Ah! Don't oh, smell your fucker water again, you tit. That would go very poorly. Again. Oh dear. Now. Hmm. The thinking. I know, crazy. Ah! What to do is a very good question we ask ourselves sometimes. I ask it a lot. Mm. <laughs> However. Um, what I'm thinking right now is we play some, a game, uh, a little bit of the games. <laughs> All right, so. That went well. I think the next step now is to see what games... I want to see if anyone's available. A lot of people are free. Just kidding, most people are busy! Uh, NZ might be ends free. Unless he's at work. 
I don't know. Friend check time. Ooh, lovely. Now. Now, 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 now. Um, yes, I could. Says NZ's away. But we can still check. Get open or working. Let's see if NZ is vibing or working. Na -na 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 -na. Who else lives? Who else is here? Hmm? Hmm? Ah, uh, yeah, if I can. Oh, there we go. But. Now, what we've got is uh, we could play some more Vampire. But I want to play a little bit of Omega Strikers. Because I want to see if I can get into an OC lobby. <laughs> if I can, that would be as smooth as butter. Hmm. <clears throat> if I can't, that's okay. La 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 la. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Oh, my neck. Calm down, neck. You need to stay on your head. Bum ba ba da da bum ba dum dum ba dum. Ah, I surprised you all, didn't I? Ah, 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 hmm. I could play some Terraria. That'd be fun. But Terraria takes up a chunk of time. Ooh. We'll see. If we can get into an Omega Strikers lobby, that'll be ideal. And if we can't, we'll figure out something else. I know. We adapt. We're so crazy like that. Oi. Filter. How about... You filter yourself, you tit. Now, will we get into a game? I'm back! Hooray! I don't know what happened there. But it just froze. <laughs> but I'm back! It's a good time, it's a good time. It is how it is, it is how it is. But we live, we live, and that's okay. Oh, now Mega Strikers has some good music, so we can always just probably, presumably, use that music. We do that, that makes me good. Oh, there we go. Oh shit, gotta fucking trim the camera. Trim it, trim it, trim the camera. Ah, I've been trimmed. Dirty. All right, let's see if we can get into a game, preferably. If we can't, we could do some Animal Royale. We'll do some something, something. We've got time to kill, and able to kill the time. Yeah. You didn't expect me to put my hair that way, did you, bitch? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm judging. Mm. Oh. Potter. Bleh. Bleh. Oh. Oh. Hey, sweet, it's sweet. Um, so, if we can get into a game, that's fucking jazzy. Not one person to invite. Can't get into a game. We'll just play something else. But that's why I'm gonna have it as just chatting. <laughs> Because it can take a little while. Ah, oh, I see. 
My glass is back on, mother. Mm, let's see if I can see the game. Ooh. I mean, I can see all right. It's just I'm long-sighted. Now, now, now. Boom, boom, boom. How long does it take to do the thing? Too long, probably. Wow, 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 I'm singing for you. Oh, bye. Tippa tippa two, tippa two. We got into a game. Game, 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 game. I guess, yeah. <laughs> Victory is what well, I they're the goal, eh? I guess. Why can't I play who they're playing? Really? I won't let you down. Oh. Oh, I'll go for Asher. We got this. Forward yeet. Mm. Juno, my shields and your blobos. No one can take us down. My shields and your blobos. Kind of love that. Ow. Knocked off. Don't get me Stop. Yes, go Juno. Blob it. Blob it. No. <laughs> that was well done by them there. Yes, there we go. Great onto the goals bosom. Mm. Coomer man. Juno, don't run away. Ooh, wow. Good shot, Juno. Absolute champion. Hmm. Oh, 
I see. Yes. Good shit. Thank you and oh, the stretch of victory. Come join if you want. How are you? Boom, boom. Oh, you me, you oh damn. Damn. Posture check. Sorry, I think my posture is not that bad. Ooh, good go. Breaking every bone in my body. What have you been up to? Having a good day? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I did okay. Boom, boom, boom. Good shit. Do you have this game? If you do, you can play it. Hold on. I need to change it to Omega Strikers mainly because. It should load soon, hopefully. If it doesn't... I want to change the category stream thing. Please let me do that. Yay. Good shit. Had an interview today? Oh. How'd that go? And uh, yeah, this is a free air hockey 3v3 MOBA. It's pretty good, pretty damn good. Omega Strikers. You want it? Give it a go. But I hope your interview went well. What sort of noodles are you consuming? Anything pants, eh? And if you didn't see it earlier, I can always just like sneakily put the thing up. Hold on, hold on. Emerge? Yeah, I'm working on the starting soon screen thinger, and this is the what we got up to today. Oh my gosh, that's a little too big. Went super well. Fuck yeah. He starts off. Oh, hell yeah, that's so good. Uh, is this like a job on top of the one you got, or a different job? And yes, this is the the draft so far for the starting soon screen. It's getting there. It's getting there. Got chicken on a bag with ketchup and mayo? Fuck yeah. I love bagels. Good old bagels. Good old bagels. Yeah, I've got heaps. That's so good. I think I had two this morning. <laughs> Such good shit. I still need to figure out a lot of stuff with this, but the starting soon screen will hopefully be pretty nice at one stage. Bonk. Um, but... Yeah, it'll take a fucking hot while. Uh, new job because previous place got a new boss you didn't get along with. Yeah, it makes sense. That tends to happen. That always sucks when you've got a good job and then a new boss comes in and it's like, ooh. <laughs> Subway near you, hey, at least. That means it's like short walk. A little bit more convenient. Ooh, dear. Potter. Ah, don't bump your mic, you little ficker. Stay there, yet, Ted. 
Um, but you know, yeah, subway. Uh, subway does the job, I guess. Uh, Do you know any of the people working there? Or are you going in completely fresh? Mm -hmm. Do need to see. What I want to do. Um, oh. I'm tempted to play more V Rising if the Q time keeps being dank. Because, like, that's one issue with the OC one at the moment. The Q time's not the best uh, unless you got a full squad because it's fairly new. It's half the previous owners were there, like, five minutes a day max. New ones every day. Oh, every single day, whole day. Oh, gross. Yeah, that's no fun. I know no one at all. <laughs> but you like the area better? That's a plus. And you can always, like, make new friends at the job and stuff like that. Yeah. No, well, that's really good. I'm glad that's turned out well for you. Oh. Oh. It do be like that. It do be a bit of a yawn. Oh. Um. Jib, 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 jib. All right, queue time. I'll queue up one more time. And then I'll try switching into the NA zone. And if that doesn't work, we'll switch games. we got one game in at least. But yeah, unless we have a full squad. New boss also had three other cafes and complained about not having a day off. Are they dumb? Oh, don't get a day off. They're the sort of person who wants to just get free money. They just want to have other people work for, work for them, do their job, and then just chill. And they don't realize that that's not how the world works. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, nah. I can see why you left. That new boss sounds like an ass. Oh, he sounds so pompous. I don't even know him yet. No, I don't like him. Yeah, nah. Not a vibe. Uh, I'm seeing foxes online. Show me on two, 10 days in a row with no breaks. Oh, yeah, nah. You're not. Yeah, that's. It sounds like hospitality for you. But it's still gross. The only push over there. <laughs> yeah, fair. Oh, hospitality is just... It's something. It's something different. Alright, Q teams, what you doing? Let's see if we can get into a ranked game. 3, 2, 1. Oh, Alright. Well, we had one game of Omega Strikers, and we'll play some more later if some other friends who have it are on. <laughs> we could switch to NA, I guess. Ah... I don't feel like it though. Alright, yeah, fuckers. Give me a minute. I mean, I could see if you if you want to play a game, we can. Um, but blah, 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 blah. Nah. let's just hop out of fucking shit loading time time. Shit lighting time time. They're the better ones around you. Yeah, you gotta gotta get the good ones. Downloading it at the moment. Yeah, nah, finish your food. Fucking do what you want. Vibe. Um. Now, did get a bit into v, v Rising, but the issue is I played it for Spooktober and I don't want to then just play it. <laughs> uh, I'm just like, oh no, should I save it for Spooktober or should I just keep playing it? I don't know. It's really fun though. Uh, and could do some Tutoria as well. Or some Super Animal Royale. Fuck, there's a bunch of games we could play. Too many. Hmm, if, if I insist. Mm, yes, yes. Uh, oh, I could do some B-Rising. Let's do a little bit of that. Just a, just a smidge. Um, Because I want to see maybe if I... Oh, hello, Googly, how you going? We played a round of Omega Strikers, and then we couldn't find... We couldn't get enough people in a queue, and I couldn't be bothered to go play NA. <laughs> so, where? Oh, Tater. Good shit. Um, also, um, uh, Googling, in case you didn't know, I guess I'll just do it for both. Generally, when there's, like, a bunch of people who are new, uh, or a bunch of people who probably don't know each other as well. There you go. Friend time. There we go. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no. So I'm gonna play some B Rising. Oh, I could play some. T oh, I'm so I ADHD brain's going fucking mental today. <laughs> it's going fucking nutty today, eh? I was like, hmm, what do I want to do? Hmm. And then we did some art, and then my brain's like, Mega Strikers, go now. And then it just, <laughs> I got one game in before. I was like, Q times, though. Oh. However, it's a bunch of fucking games we can play. And we got a few people. I mean, we could always jackbox, but I don't know if we've got enough people for it. That's the issue. Um, and we can always try. Now, now, now. Hope you're all well, though. For those of you who don't know, I can, I'll show you what we did this morning. So you don't have to go rummaging through the vault. Ah. Because for art at the moment, we are focusing on trying to make a new stream starting source. And it's coming out alright. It's in the Discord. Check it out there, bitch. Mm, yum, yum. Uh, <laughs> but I'll also show you what we got. So up to part two. Uh, ah, it is just a sketchy scribble. That's why it's draft two, fuckers. But for this, because I wanted a more customized one. And so it's like trying to figure out enemy stream friends who would want to be in certain spots. So we've got a few things going. Um, we got where my VTuber model will be down the bottom right in the kitchen area with the wire grizzle. Then we got B on a bean bag with a laptop. Tell A probably with like a, um, by the tree looking out the window, which will be where Chad is. Coda hidden in a little cardboard box. Toa and Aria looking at a zeppelin. Uh, Googly at a little gaming station. Um, Hans are at the, cha uh, the chair with chess. Uh, New Zealand Kiwi bickering by a TV. And then there's like three other spots. Uh, and lucky up top. Um, but, Celine, if you want to be... Rrr, if you want to be on it, feel free. You're a good old friend. Um, just let me know where. There's there's a few spots left. Um, and it's just out of the, the stream of friends I appreciate. I can't put all of them there. Or I was a better voice actor when my... When my, uh, when my jaw wasn't fucked up. And that was... 2020. So, we're getting there. <laughs> we will get back to where I was before eventually. Um, but yes, yes, very. it's so ADHD to be like, let's start a piece of art and then never finish it. I don't think, there's not many pieces of art I've ever finished. Like, ever. <laughs> it's a very, very common occurrence I've found. Um, it does make it a little bit difficult uh, to be, to... If I got very good at paint, at doing art, it would make it very difficult to be like, oh, commissions, because I know the chance that I would finish them is very fucking low. <laughs> so that's why I don't really do commissions. I just will scribble for someone. Because <laughs> to be honest, it doesn't exactly go very well. Uh, but you know what I mean? Um, but <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a vibe. Uh, I can't be stuffed to lift back up my green screen. I will eventually. Hey, ah, hey, away. Lovely. <laughs> now, you're running it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Googly's running a really cool and an amazing show at the moment. Um, and uh, Googly will be revealing more details soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and it'll be amazing. <laughs> crippling money guilt due to parents same as well i know it's good fun isn't it when you don't know how to have any self-value why is my hair pretending to be a unicorn chill bruz oh fucking chill mate uh, you know what would solve this being a vtuber which i will eventually soon it'll once it comes out it comes out me oh Oh, mm, that's so bad. Don't part your hair like that. But what is everyone up to? I know there's a few lurkers here, and I love you all as well. But for all of you that are here, if there's a bunch of people and there's enough to do jackbox, I like doing jackbox. Mm, so make yourself visible. Or don't. Do what you want. Just love and appreciate you here. Mm. I'm just rambling at my own. And your hair's been doing that all day? 
Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Hair is just fucking... Hair's whack. Hair's something else. My hair gets real thick. It doesn't get long. I would love to be able to try doing a full-on Viking hairstyle, but my hair just goes... Mm. It just becomes thick. Uh, <laughs> not ideal. I'll give it that. Not ideal at all. Not at all, at all, at all, at all. Uh, not exactly ideal. However, uh, I could do... I need to see what do we all want to do. I could try a jackbox, and if we have enough people, we do. And if we don't, we'll go back to something else. I'm giving you all a chance. I know. Ooh, you're a bit of a band of quick so I know the sick has been re getting revealed with the show. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You can get to see the surprise soon. Ooh, I am keen. Now, Gooey's put on a lot of passion and effort into it, so make sure you all check it out. It's real, it's, it's real good. It's a good time. I always, I always love taking parts in passion projects. Um, speaking of passion projects, there's also going to be a trailer for... Another passion project I was in soon. Whenever that is fucking ready, I will release it and we can watch the trailer, presumably. I'll get permission. I will, don't worry. Uh, it's in space. That's why in my Discord there was a, a weird, just sudden random images and meme of me saying space. Um, but I digress. Uh, we're going to play some Jackbox and if we get enough people, we do. And if we don't, you get to know that surprise tonight since I'm bored and I can see your live, re live reactions. Hell yeah. That's some good shit. Jackbox. It's loud and it's gonna break my eardrums. Ah! I'm sorry, everyone. Start the fucking game. Ah! Potter. Uh, let me look. No one played a knocking thing. For a second there, I thought there was some knocking. Yes, yes, yes. So right now, we can play some Jackbox. Y'all better join in. Because if you don't... Mm -hmm. Is this the right Jackbox I have open? Alright, fuckers. My camera is gonna go ah for a brief second. Ah, crazy! I know. Ah, oh, the Jack's box, the box whose name is Jack. Do 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 do. Jack's box. It's his box. Yeah. Jack's box. I don't know. Oh dear. Now, I am going to very quickly, very quickly indeed, uh, switch browser, sound is off good. So that means I can open up the Jackbox and tell you all to join. So I think what we can do is we can probably do some, let's do some quick flash. It's nice and safe to begin with. Everyone loves it. Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> Check your Discord now. I will. I will. I'll check your. I'll check your Discord or my Discord. Boo 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 boo. Let me check the Discord. That's such a cool name. That's such a cool. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's sick. Perry the Platypus. Perry, what did you do with my socks? I need them. That's sick. Uh. 
That's a sick name. You've got a great name. Everyone else, you're you're missing out. Perry the platypus, where are you? I am ready and so are you. Don't fucking do I mean fucking fucking hell. No. But won't be in snap for too long. True. True. Fucking give me a fucking order of hats. Hey, fucking you, fuck, fucking you. How could you? Alright, everyone, join. Bing, bing, ring, abba, da, de, be, do, baba, de, babble, de, ba, rabba, de, de, be, do. Bum, bum. Da, 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 da. Oh, thank you, thank you. We oh, yes, yes, we now have we need at least one more person get your ass in here. La da 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 Na, da 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 ba, 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 ba. Yes there we go Yes Flatulent Vag <gasps> The stinkiest All right, fuckers. I'll give you. Let's look at the time. Six oh eight. When it, when it comes to up time, I'm gonna give you a minute. That's gonna give me time to grab a piece of food. And then when I'm back, this lobby better be fucking full. It is a great name. Fucking peak content. But yes, fucking. We better fill this up by the time I'm back. I'm looking at all of you. I'm watching you. You went fire. Oh, I'm looking at the time. You got one minute left. Another person will join. Or do I have to do another fucking dance or some shit? But it's the gratty of Chris. Chris Pratt himself? Oh my. Oh my, I didn't know Chris Pratt was joining. Pratt Pratterson? From Pratt School? Oh my. I didn't know Chris, 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 Chris Pratt was here. Well, we got four people. So that means that's probably enough people to start. More people can join in a bit. I think that's a, that's that's pretty good. I don't want everyone waiting for too long. Everybody's in. Three, two, one. Join in the audience so you get in next round. Or don't. It's up to you. Quiplash! <laughs> three. Quiplash three! <coughs> Quiplash three! Ooh. Quips on parade! Oh. I'm Schmitty, and I hope you have your quipping face on. 
And if you're not in the game, put in the room code and join the audience. Your vote counts too. You can't join this stuff. This is round on. one. Okay, okay. I'm gonna you flash can flash two audience. prompts on your device. But, okay. Type something ingenious that will stand up against you another player's as well. response. Then everyone will vote for their fave, and one of you will get an ego boost. You get points based on the percentage of people who choose your answer. Off wow. we go. Everyone knows that if I can flash, I'll get rid of the tutorial the next round. Mm hmm. You didn't get in. It's all right. It's all right. Get in next game. You'll be fine. Pop in the audience, and you're always free to join. And I hope you're well, Parrot. It's nice to see you here. I wonder what we will all get. Start with the worst thing to use as confetti. Mm -hmm. You're so close to lumberjack okay, be gone. Okay, time to choose. <laughs> Evil. How dare you say for such a glorious thing? The worst thing to use is confetti. Grandma's ashes or glitter. You can vote too, parent. JPJG. Let's keep it going. Woo. The last person you'd take financial advice from. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> Choose your favorite. So Mario or me? I don't know, that's up to you. You can all decide. I don't know about you, but I think this is a very clear and obvious answer. The answer is me. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have... What's the trick to staying up when you have to pull an all-nighter? You can't trust right, the stash. For the one True. You like best. But at least the stash made him stacks. Remember what you did three days, three years ago, and cry or drink some blood? Yeah. <laughs> this misspelling is great. <laughs> oh damn, pity, pity. Pity. Okay, bitty. what's next? Nothing can stop the Terminator. Well, nothing except blank. Damn. And now it's time to vote. You've for made your some favorite. valid points. Another Terminator would be on equal footing though. It's just a Terminator. Now as Googly, you've got some unlimited level of potential there. Does Googly get prepped on? Oh, I'll never forget you round one, but now it's time to look at the scores. Oh. I think Celine's in the front. No. Ties broken from the dis by the Feeling distance of set. Good, because it's time what? for round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, wow. I say. Doubled. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Hmm.
What's the site for it? Oh, for this? Uh, Jackbox. It's at the top right. So that's Jackbox. Uh, dot TV. And then you would enter the code JPJG. And then you can be audience, you can be a member, you can join, you can do whatever the fuck you want. It's just a browser thing. You can do it on your phone. Hmm. Now Almost that I've answered your question, I should look at the other thing. Quips. Ah, I don't have time. Ah. You okay, made me answer a question. Where the fun starts. Here's the phone, yeah. And we start with some people could probably modify an it onto like theme for an escape room. DS. <laughs> it's escape the time. womb. Or there's a stranger in my kitchen. Get me out. Bam. Bum, 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 Moving bum, right bum, along, bum, bum. you know you're addicted to Wikipedia, Wikipedia when, you when you start reading, about, reading about Meg. <laughs> Biggest bees in okay, Australia. Pick your favorite or the male psychic. <laughs> no, the male. I think you mean psyche, but psychic probably works even better. The biggest bees in Australia. Bees nuts. A clear winner. Chris Pratt knows it all. Bees nuts. Nom nom nom. And next, a new casino game you're definitely going to lose money on. The Thickerness or Twitch Casino 5000. Pick your favorite. Mm -hmm. What does your all vote? Boom, 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 Yeah. So you can always pop by and join in the next game. We've got a lot of space for you all. Let's see how they handle a command given to the world's most intellectual dog. Sup, bitch? Oh no, shut up, bitch! <laughs> What's the meaning of life? Like 42. Hmm. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I love that one. Shut up, bitch! I'm the most intellectual dog. Shut up, bitch! Okay, only one round remains. Let's see how it's shaping up to this point. Hmm. Oh damn! Chris Pat, fucking whipping out a thick Prepare one. Prepare yourself for Riplash. Chris Behold, Pratt's a dong final and all. round to end all rounds. Wow, On your device, you'll see a prompt that requires three, three separate, separate responses. Come. Okay, player Ooh. two looks a little freaked, but you'll Wait. do great. Ba -bum -bum -bum. I guess. Bum, 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 typing in the thing. I almost said it out loud. Hmm. Submitted. What a boring problem. Mm, yes. Mm, nom, nom, nom. It's good to play some Jackbox again. Always love it. Oh, it's one of those things where it's like you want to play it, but you got to make sure there's enough people, or that the people are like actually wanting to play it. But so I'm glad that we're we're getting a good chance to have a bit of a chuckle. Celine, the dreamer, put in your. Let's get ripping. Oh, let's get ripping, mate. Mm. 
three keywords that would most certainly pull up this player on the first page results. Oh my. It's me, Mario! Welcome to Mushroom Kingdom, bussy boy bandit. Here's the fun part. Baby, I'm back. Pick your favorite quip. Are you gonna get in trouble for these ones? I think not. Both of these are very much valid and accurate responses. It's a mushroom kingdom, me, Bussy Boy Bandit Mario, baby, I'm back. Ooh. Ooh, that's a close thickened. Not the top too shabby. Three things overheard at nude workplaces. Oh my. Nice <laughs> crunk. Nice cock. Hey, nice cock. Time to trim your hedge, Helen. All right, people, Slaps it's ass. Oh time. no. <laughs> it's Chris Pratt. He is huge. Where's Luigi? Help! <laughs> it's me, Mario. <laughs> Damn! Damn! Nice car. Slapped ass. And that is it. Aww. Well, except for this last part. Mm -hmm. Will Chris Pratt save the day? No. Selene, the dream has won it again. Fucking well done, you got squudged. How does it feel to be squudged? Boom, 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 bada boom, boom, boom. Let's go with some new players, same game this time, and then we'll just do a different game afterwards, maybe. Shabam! I know, smiley face. You can join the chat if you want, Celine. You're in, you're in the server, you fool. Hold on. Bam, boom. But if you're just vibing here, I also respect that. Bam. Aha! I am in. Roof holes. Observe and blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Joy. Come here, you fuckers. Get in the game. There are nine people watching. And there are seven spots. This lobby better fucking fill its ass up. Chris Pratt's back again. Mario Kingdom 2 Electric Boogaloo. Ha! I know, right? Thank you. Hold on. Did you want stream delay? Oh, now that you're here, hello. <laughs> How are you going? Hold on. I get to hear things out of context. Great. I know, true. Or oh, hold on. Let me. I'll do the classic. I share the application so you don't get the delay. How kind. Boop a doop 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 a who needs context anyway? Context is lame. Yeah, having no context yeah. is way better. You know, oh yeah, 100%. Learn so much more. 100%. There we go. Uh, we got Discord. Is anyone else wanting to pop in? Uh, Discord collab? Oh, yeah, that is one of them. There we go. That fits better for Jackbox so people can see the code and shit. And then we got no names. And then we got. Boom, 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 boom. I'll give it a few more seconds and then we'll start the game. Boom, 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 boom. Get your asses in here, nuts. Hmm. All right, fuckers, everyone's in. Kill your boys, not my sperm. I hope you're ready for Quiplash 3. Yes, we're ready, Schmitty. No one cares. Schmitty here. Are you expecting someone else, perhaps? No, uh. of course not. <laughs> Let's kick it off with round one. You're going to get no, points no. based on the percentage of votes you get. So don't I hold know. back. I don't understand why Quiplash doesn't let you skip the tutorial. <laughs> Little bits. Mm. Everyone knows exactly what happens in Quiplash. If anyone's played Jackbox before, they know how Quiplash works. Uh, oh yes, 
A prompt one that I won't say out loud. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. I hate myself for that one. Alright. Some really interesting prompts. These ones are better than the last ones. Or at least for me. The other ones I found were a little bit lackluster. It's like, oh no, ooh. <laughs> Mario. Wahoo! Yippee! Oh, have you seen? There's this great video where it's this um, guy's granddad and he's just voicing over the trailer for it instead of Chris oh, Pratt. And he's like, and it's so much better. It's actually already better. He's like, oh no! <laughs> Ah, the Mushroom Kingdom, I'm gonna save it, woo! <laughs> and it's so good. I need to find it. Okay, and I'll put it in the Discord. Okay, let what you've wrought. What have I wrought? Let's no. break the ice with... A warning that should come with alcohol. May cause oh, no. blank. May cause cummy whammy Or dizziness, nausea, okay, and where am I? Away. Hmm. I think it... Does alcohol cause you all to cummy wummy or have dizziest nausea and where am I? <laughs> Come on. Next up, the best name for a mom gang. Damn, mom gang? Mommy milkers! The baby right, strangers? I hope not! <laughs> I think that's a not mom gang actually. <laughs> Maybe a mummed gang. They were mums. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> both of them could be not mom ones because mommy. Could, it could that, be well, like, talking about the boobies, but it could be talking about the people that are. I think it could milk. be mummy mummy milkers. Without further ado, baby stranglers. They kill the, the baby, then they're no longer mums. Have an executive department of Twitch is like blank. and destroyed channel. <laughs> okay, choose your favorite. The executive department of executive dysfunction or the executive department of homeless e execution center Hmm lift your, <laughs> lift your penis or remove the homeless <laughs> Next one up Money can't buy happiness but When someone says you're down bad it really should just mean they have executive dysfunction <laughs> Not horny And now pick your favorite but it came by hookers or me a boat. <laughs> Where is it? You, is that me and a boat? Like, you know, is this but like a two for one deal? It could buy you a boat. So that it goes with the sentence. Yeah, it could buy me a boat. But will it? I don't know. Hookers are cheaper. You could. Ah, but if you if 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 happiness bought it, I didn't buy it, and you know what that means? Free money. Bro. I can sell the boat. And you can't sell a hook, <laughs> but you can sell a boat. I mean, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Liam doing the nude no, man. It's real. Nude Pick man. Your the leading cause of goosebumps. <laughs> Which nude man? Hmm? Seeing Chris Pratt himself. Damn. Mario face reveal. I am doing the nude man. Which nude man am I doing? I took a locket of round one's hair to remember. Is the nude man this, the is, this, this Florida man, and then this nude man, this mysterious force of dicking? Ooh, the Googster. I did not do very well that round. Round <laughs> two is upon nah. us. Put on your best quip face because the points are doubled and the tension is thick. Oh, Schmitty, always so funny. Ah. Uh. I love how that's pretty much all claim information. It's really cool. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. It would be great to have a stump double with you and do always said it out loud. Who cares now? Good luck. <laughs> Be 
<laughs> I think I made my second one. I think I made a, a tongue twister accidentally. <laughs> Interesting. We shall see. Chris Pratt, stop filing. There we go. <laughs> oh, I am so ready for this next part. We know, Schmitty. You probably, when he records, and he probably didn't have any pants on. Is, it would be great to have a stunt double when you blank. <laughs> Make your vote count. I don't know. One sounds convenient, and one just sounds like you're bad at it. <laughs> One could be convenient, or it could be a kink. Ooh. Hot cold? Oh no. <laughs> there's, there's a, you know and how cuckoo clocks that, have something that comes and, out? And, and Would there be a cuckold clock? No. But if you need to have a nap and you're using a stunt double, then you're still just going to be tired. <laughs> Yeah, but you get to have a nap. Stunt double have. does what you want it to do. I need to hide treasure in a place this player will never look. Where should it go? <laughs> well, everybody knows the prison pocket. Well, I think right, we already answered that one before the results came up. <laughs> <laughs> I need to hide and kill your boss in a place I'll never look. Where should it go? A woman's vagina! <laughs> or the bathroom. Slam dunk. <laughs> Damn, you got beaten by a woman's vagina. And now, what called Hulk down? <laughs> beaten at your own game. All right, vote for the one you like best. Nude man 5000. Come, come, Hulk cut down. Hulk come, Hulk come. Come. Come, come, hope exactly. down. Exactly. Come, come, hope down. Come, hope come, hope come. Hope come, hope come. come. That's bad. You can't see it like with the way they typed it. <laughs> you just imagine. All caps. All caps. <laughs> yeah. I'm just imagining like a caveman right, just hoping like, out. Come, come, hope down. A good way Hulk to come. distinguish Hulk yourself Hulk as come. the office bad boy. Oh my! You don't have to say it like that, Schmitty. And now it's time to vote Here's for the your boss favorite. and lick some doors. Oh my. You don't know what's been on those doors. That's the point. True. Or you can burn the place down. Hmm. What if the boss is the door? Let's see the next I mean, one. <laughs> it's like Duke Nukem. I came here to kiss the boss trying to tell and lick the doors, eyes. and I'm all out of boss. <laughs> <laughs> all right, people, it's voting time. Don't go in that. Don't. Oh, you don't go in that room. I'll throw your flyers down. Hey, lover boy. Oh no, I don't like either of those. Well, you, I mean, you it depends like on the antique store. No, imagine this. It's just an antique store. You go in, and it's just a plate. And you turn around, and you look at the plate. It's your average plate. And it just says, Hey, lover boy. And you're like, What the fuck? Hey, lover boy. Want to put your food on me? I uh, don't, Mr. Plate. Thank you. <laughs> that is an interesting conversation to have. It's hard to put it, it, it would be. And that's why words. you wouldn't have it. Let's see how it translates to the <laughs> scoreboard. Oh, no. I suspect... Celine's gonna go bumping high and says killing the boys. Killing the boys! The boys! They killed. I'm getting there. Come inside Working and way up. rip lash. Working your way up the end you've been quipping towards. I'll be sending each of you a prompt that needs three separate Sam Pratt responses. responses. Remember, big points, big points mean make big, big pressure. Penis. And oh. seeing how we have an odd number game, <gasps> You'll be going against me. Exciting, <laughs> Exciting. Huh? Oh, I have to deal with Schmitzer. That means if I, if that means if someone outvotes me for Schmitty, <laughs> we're doing we're a different game. Bum, 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 bum. 
40 seconds left. And I'm free. Free falling. I think. I think. These are great. These are fantastic. These are the best. They're Time's gonna win. almost up. Hurry. So yeah. gonna win. Oh, when you For get sure. like the the Definitely. best, you, you get an 100%. actually like really good prompt. I it wasn't a good prompt, but I think he's a Ah, so that's how you do the other one. That isn't the night the night robot command. Okay. okay, let's do this. The what? Well, there's two thing. There's two of them, and normally I just Three do the secrets. Twitch this link, group, but I knew that there's right another shout out thing, but I never knew how people did other. it. Only one shout out can be active at a time. Please wait a minute and calm down. Well, how about you suck a nut sack, Mr. Time to Twitch? Pick the one you like best. Chris Pratt is Mario. Here's the boss I kissed. Your door is next. Or we're actually bears in people's clothing. Clothes. Raw. I mean. We bear bears? Any, any hairy man. We bear bears? I mean, any ma hairy we man bears. that likes other men is already oh, a bear. Bear 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 bear. bear, bear. Damn. Bear, 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 bear. To be fair, Schmitty, I didn't know you were kinky yeah. like that. Most common things people scream while skydiving out of a plane. Schmitty's kinky. Oh, I wish I had sex instead. Here's why. Hey, why is the grass like close? He's such a wimp. Oh shit, I fell. Ah! Oh, tell my wife I love her. Whee! <laughs> It's either we and he died, or we and then he came. What? I imagine he died. Yeah. Oh, either come splat on, or guys. split. <laughs> come on, guys. Don't mind if I. Three things you'd change about <laughs> Superman to make him more relatable. I don't know. Give him existential dread and depression. Although instead of arms. <laughs> I'm super okay, arms. Pick your favorite quip. Dildo man, he fucks you with his whole hand. Dildo man. His arm is a cock, but he has the heart of a man. Dildo That's man. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> you can't deal with the dildo wait, man, but if you can't deal with can? him, wait, 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 the wait, dildo wait, can! Wait. Wait, wait, wouldn't technically any amputee be able to be a dildo man? Nothing to do easy? now, but see True. those final scores. Anything is a dildo if you're brave enough. True. True, this is very true. Yes. <laughs> Including somewhere, your entire somewhere, monitor. Somewhere there is still a mannequin with a cactus penis. And I send that to my friends every now and then. <laughs> you mean by mail or <laughs> or as an image? Do you personally own the dildo image. man? <laughs> no, 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 man. It was just randomly on Facebook one day <laughs> when I was in high school. I've just My saved God. it ever since. That's so good. Beautiful. It was fantastic. I love that. Yeah, no, I love that sort of shit. Um, or like the the one at the moment where it's like the plunger one. Uh, is like TikToks and stuff where someone like puts the plunger on like the roof or something, and they're like, I'll test that, and then they sort of just like bend over and they're just like. <laughs> Quiplash, oh, Chris Pratt has done it again. Oh, he always has. Wahoo, Mario. Mm -mm. It's me, Mario. I'm Chris Pratt. <laughs> also, Slapus. Mm, Slapus on what? Also, do we want more, more Lash or do we want something else? Let's, we could break it up with a little bit of Champ. And then we could do something. I don't mind. What do we want to do? Do we want to suffer with bad drawings? Bad drawings is always fun. Hell yeah, don't worry, my tablet isn't here. It's over there. <laughs> I mean, my tablet is here. Damn it. Oh, I sorry. was literally drawing before I popped in to watch your stream because <laughs> I was eating food. That's true. And I have it, I, I went back to the drawing and I was cringing at it because it's so <laughs> janky. Hell yeah. It's you gotta so cringe. Janky. You could lumberjack like to call me minutes, googly. came back and it looked so <laughs> janky. Hell yeah, that's the I way to so do it. I was so happy 
Or <laughs> That's why you never look at your art again. Never look at your art again. You should know that. And Googly, don't you dare. <laughs> you could lumberjack big on me, but you could also be a friend. I'm gonna put that in and then make sure uh, also that means you should hopefully get in first cool there we go because of the delay yep yep giraffe giraffe uzzy giraffe that's not his head that's in that thing what the it's his head they're they're men <laughs> I wanna be a cock. Though I could be wet. <laughs> it's wet. It's Kool Aid Man, but wet. Wait, it is Kool Aid. Yes, it's it. it's the Titrophone. I'm gonna go with titties. Jumbotron. Gotta, gotta go with titties. That's the spirit. I'm gonna give it a minute, and then we'll start. And I know there's a bunch of you here. Get your bitch asses in here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And Googly? No, no, you should not. Boom, 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 boom. All right, all right. I'm gonna start then. Bang. Ah, uh, bang, bang, bang. I love Ben. I love Ben. Ben is such a good egg. We all love it, Ben. We need at least one more person, preferably for champed up. Mm. Do you want to have a bit of variety with who votes for what? Can't yeah. stop with the thought of Kool Aid Man's blood is just the red Kool Aid inside of him. Oh, it always was. Unless it's the blood of someone else. I still find it funny that me and my brother have an inside joke that one mm. day, one day I'm gonna go to a party with two jugs of strawberry daiquiris and just burst in the room saying, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Great. <laughs> I wanna be cooling me out, but with strawberry daiquiris. I think there's I like- make my strawberry daiquiris strong. <laughs> oh no. There is some like, quotes that would be really bad during sex. And I think all of a sudden, if you just brought out Kool Aid Man's, like, oh yeah, <laughs> there would be a mixture of confusion. It's the not the worst is, thing you could probably say. The, the <laughs> thing is, I personally think that a little bit of laughter in the bedroom is top tier and needs to happen. True, true. It does. But there's also some of them that could probably be a lot worse than just the Kool Aid Man's, oh yeah. And also, hello, Wi-Fi, wi -fi. my Wi-Fi, the twelfth Wi-Fi. Oh gosh, I didn't know I had that much Wi-Fi. Is that why I have no money? Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah. Join the game, fucking Wi-Fi. I hope you, I hope you're well though. Thanks for popping by. Join some janked crank. Join it. Do it now. But then again, we've got an at, le at the very least join his audience. Ah! All right, I get it. We'll start the game. <laughs> join his audience if you don't want to draw. So we can at least. Oh, sleepy time. Bye bye. No, good. We at least vote in this one so you can see how shit we are. <laughs> Snake. 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 Welcome to the Scrollosium. Hello. I'm playing Jackpot. Oh, the the is, like, playing with strangers? You may want to turn on the moderation tool in the settings. Like, yeah, nah. true. <laughs> that's where the fun it's fine. comes. <laughs> and that's where the cum funds. In this first step, the trainers will oh, be wrong with to fun come. and name a particular type of champion so character. So there's three of us. They'll be equipped with two tools. A Skip it. For yeah, okay. Yo, it's just fucking, it's TKO. <laughs> Mixed with Quiplash. Hmm. Who to draw and what to do? Well. Do 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 do. 
I like extended timers on the drawing ones. That way people can create peak content. Just open your browser and you start a screen sh sharing on Discord. I am screen sharing on Discord, so that way people who are um, uh, friends uh, can see it on Discord. Otherwise, uh, you open the browser and start. Remain, players need to name their character. That's fine. Join as the audience and have some fun. Don't worry, wife. I didn't know you would. You were still waiting to join. Sorry about that, though. Discord, just do links. Hold on. But the links is for like other streamers and friends and stuff. So. But that's the Discord and the links. If you want to know any of the commands, then there are the rest of the commands in there. Oh my. What have we got here? Hmm. Challenge time. Boom, 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 Boom 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 ba da da dum boom da na 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 dum boom 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 ba dum boom I love Champed Up. It's probably my favorite one. And TKO. Honestly. Just any of the dumb drawing ones. Can't really go wrong with them. You don't see me in Discord? Well, that's probably because you're gonna have to check out the Discord and fill out the roles if you want. But you need to be a known friend and stuff if you want to chat in and stuff, but. Mm. 
20 seconds remain. Players need to name their character. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no, I don't have much time. Uh, 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 oh, 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 no, I don't have. Oh no, I didn't get to finish it. Oh no. Uh. But yeah, you it's get through the rolls button, you'll be able event. to find things. Our first opponent enters the ring. And in this corner, we've got... Bikini Man and Bikini Bane. These two will battle to see who is the champion of oh, vacation. vacation. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I love it. Are they down it's so the cute. Count? They look like I, I love it how it looks like he's doing a dance. <laughs> do, do, do. It's so cute though. No, don't hit bikini the man. The crowd is simply going crazy for this but trainer. But boobas. <laughs> In this corner, we've got. <laughs> oh, no, be he facing off against. <laughs> oh. We'll decide once Your. and for all who is <laughs> the champion of maxing <laughs> and relaxing. <laughs> What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Ouch. <laughs> Damn. George be chillin'. George hitting that blunt. <laughs> you can actually feel the stadium shaking right now. Aww. We can feel the stadium shaking. Now entering the no, ring. that's just my legs. I have ADHD. And anxiety. And them oh, will be... my name's better than me, man. Oh my. One of them <laughs> will be crowned oh, the no. champion of heavy metal. I suspect those are both a dongles. No, but they're just holding no, mushrooms. It's okay. It's we all know it's okay. We all mutually can agree that they were holding time. beetroots. Yes, everyone watching, it's beetroot. You can confirm. <laughs> confirm and chat it's beetroots, and then we all know Twitch is happy. Beetroot. Yes, beetroot. Exactly. Yeah. Doom, 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 doom. Well, I guess now that people are drawing penises, I'm going to have to start re-adding my blur. People are being naughty. I mean, beetroots. They're drawing intense beetroots. I wasn't the first one that drew it, okay? Mm-hmm. You were just com competing well, with wasn't. the vegetable. It was a vegetable competition. No, it's okay as long as I know. If people know, I just need to check on a quick blur. Boom, 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 boom. How much time we got? One minute? Fuck. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, there we go. All right, all right. Ooh, ha. Ooh. <laughs> Twenty second warning, name those characters. 
How do you see me screen sharing? You just look at the screen from the game. If you want to see me screen sharing, you would have to be like a friend or a streamer. E. Or trusted in the Discord long enough. Otherwise, you just watch it here. Because this is the easiest. It's easy to just watch it through here anyway. Because you're already here. Hello. Watch me through both simply so that you get the views. <laughs> oh, thank you. Romney. I'm confused about what the fuck this is. <laughs> First I'm thinking what the fuck is this and that. It's alright, it's uh I don't know. Do digga do digga do digga do 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 boom 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 How much time we got? A uh, minute in a bitty. A bitty mini. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 Thing I just wish. Give me a fill tool, I mean, please. The highlighter's close to it, kind of. Oh, sort of. I mean, it's the best thing you got, but it's, be it's still like, it's better than nothing. But, still wish there was a, you know, a, a bit more of a variety, maybe. La -da -da -da, how much time have we got? Very little. Hmm. Do 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 It's time to name those characters. Oh, we already got a little hole with that shit. Oh, fuck shit. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, I don't have enough time. No! <laughs> it's the <laughs> second half, which means it's time for the tag teams. Each the matchup sadness. will include a surprise contest where players can tag out their characters. The bonus points are doubled, and votes for both contests will be cumulative. Aww. Let's start things off with our first two fighters. The first two fighters. <gasps> Who is <laughs> the champion of looking lost? <laughs> I love that. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm what? I just went for a similar style. It's a drama get in. I don't I don't even know. That's so cute. It's not over yet. Here's the next title up for grabs. The champion of the gap year. Damn. Will the trainers keep their characters or swap out? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Neither do I. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't, no. <laughs> There's no I in team oh, kids. No. Only in kids. No, don't move that one. I'm trying to move the blur. No. <laughs> Two new fighters <laughs> enter the ring. Uh, uh. Just two one of them of will be. I know. The champion I know, of looking important. Sometimes Twitch doesn't like uh, uh, vegetables. <laughs> what is this? We're witnessing an absolute thrashing. We'll Damn. declare a winner after this mm. next match. The champion of emergency contact lists. <laughs> the trainers have a decision to make. <laughs> oh, what 
I mean, well, George we all know what the emergency could be. And he looks pretty reliable. Hmm. You can't deny that. George knows what's up. Yeah. Thank you, George. Their You're chemistry our hero. is off the charts. I hate that there was no erase pool. Uh, there's the undo or white, Here's I guess. Here's our next matchup. <laughs> but yeah, the unerased pool would be great. You will decide who is what is. I don't speak German. Limits <laughs> are uh, most chatting stopping pin pin. Or set is dead. I guess. I mean, you'd expect so. He's pretty old. This next contest could swing <laughs> things. <laughs> the champion oh of yesterday's news. Same yesterday's news. Is... Will the players tag out? Let's find out. Do, do, do. No one. Oh, I mean, oh, we humanity. did find about Santa's death yesterday, I guess. <laughs> Damn, Jumbotron. I'm getting that Jumbo down. Who needs a teammate? Not this fighter. Jumbotron. Oh, Jumbotron. Okay, folks, that was the final match. The judges are tallying the final scores, mm -hmm. and... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. We have a winner! Yay! Look at that, the phone, the phone did the censoring for you. <laughs> True, I was just worried. <laughs> oh, no, it's George, we're I safe. I worry now. Okay, I like I George. George is nice. Kirby's fine, Kirby's fine, I like Kirby. Kirby's okay. I'm still worry now. I just, it's back to George. We're okay. We're okay. We're living. We're living. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, do we want... Let's see. We've got some list people. So do we... Uh, I don't know if we'll have enough for another champ to up. But we can try... We can try a Quiplash if there's enough people. If not, then we've at least been able to do some Jackbox. That's pretty good. You know what? Yeah, I may as well. It's been seven hours. That's it. That's a good amount of time. So we may as well raid someone so someone else gets some love as well. I think that's the main thing. Before I start falling a snooze. Which I'm pretty good at. My, the things I'm best at, not shutting up and sleeping. I'm pretty good at those. I'm proud of those abilities. Uh, I hope, hope everyone else is proud. But yes, uh, make sure everyone else check out uh, Google is doing the nice little thing on Bobby and Celine. They've got their <laughs> Potter uh, and they've got their nice little thing. They've got their channel. Keep an eye on that. They're also a good old good old hoot um, But we're gonna raid someone and then I'm gonna love you and leave you. No, I think that's fair uh, Tale is on Let's let's raid Tale. Tale is a good egg. All right, children, everyone ready? Mm -hmm. There we go. Control A, C, V, V, V. A, C. Bam. Three, two, one, and it's time. I'll see you tomorrow unless I'm dying or an acting thing comes up. That's generally how it works. Otherwise, love is and leaving is. Let's raid. Be nice to him. You probably won't understand them either. <laughs>